Hello? Oh my god, my arm is so small. Hold on. Beep. Okay. Hello? Hi guys! I'm so sleepy. Hello, good morning. Oh my gosh. As you can see, I have measured everything. Oh god. Hold on. You weren't playing League? Guys, look, I haven't touched League for like half a week. First of all, okay? Like, really. I haven't. I promise. Okay, I've been like... Oh my god, I have like a really, really funny story to tell you guys, but I'm gonna tell you while I'm cooking. So... Uh, the past two days, been working on some things, and I had like repairmen come into my house to like fix things because my house is broken. Because you know what they say, your house reflects how you are. So you know I'm getting all these people to fix my house so that my mental state will be a little bit better. So and I can't trust League players. And I like how I said that on Twitter, but you guys were just like, Oh, did you play too much League? Is that why you're tired? I'm um, guys, I've been actually doing shit, okay? Gosh! Please give me some faith. Some faith? Put some faith in me. Yo, it's too early. I don't know why I'm always doing things so early in the morning. Okay, guys. So today, we're going to be making sausage buns, or some people call it pigs in a blanket, which is really, really cute. This is a recipe from one of my Alu peeps in the Alu Peep cookbook that um, they put together for my birthday this year. So I wanted to like make something from the cookbook. And... So I chose this one because, I mean, how hard can it be to make some bread and stick a wiener in it, you know? <laughs> but then I looked at the ingredients and it's like instant yeast, which I've never worked with before. I'm really bad at ba baking, so anything that requires like precision. As you can see, I've measured everything out, but I don't know if I really measured it like accurately. I don't know what one tablespoon versus one teaspoon means but i like eyeballed it you know yeah before we start um i just want to say thank you guys for the supas and the gifted memberships thank you caraway for the five thank you thank you welcome and thank you so much for the five gifted as well thank you thank you welcome welcome new members this month we're gonna watch a movie i don't know what genre yet um probably at the end of june but 
you guys have any recommendations, I'll put up a community form and you guys can um, choose for us to we'll vote on it. Um, Bony, thank you so much for the pink zuba. Using the same recipe, you could turn the sausage buns into pretzel dogs. That sounds way harder. The only change would be submerging for 30 seconds in a boiling mixture of 120 grams baking soda and 2,400 milliliters water after the dough's final rise, but before... Okay, sorry, bro, I can't. <laughs> I know what that means. Okay, that's too complicated. What? First of all, yeah, I don't have baking soda, okay? It wasn't on the ingredient list, okay? And number two... Um... Yeah, that's too hard. Sorry, I don't know what that means. I don't know what dough's final rise means. That sounds like a game. So this recipe is written by Blue IC07. So thank you so much for the recipe. This is my hand. You guys haven't seen my hand in like three weeks. And did you guys make, miss my hands? Yeah. This is um salt, by the way. I don't know. That's one. Okay. So let me point to you what the ingredients are. Also, do you guys remember this huge bowl? Yeah, this bowl is huge. I don't have like a mixing bowl because I keep forgetting. To get it, to get to get one. So this is just like I don't know. This is my gyoza bowl, you know, and I put meat in it. Okay, so we have <laughs> so the ingredients for today I have measured out. Okay, we have bread flour or all-purpose flour also works. It says this is it. This is pastry and cake flour. <laughs> Because I didn't want to buy bread flour since I already had a huge package of cake flour. And I googled it. Okay, wait, hold on. I googled it and they said that it's okay to use cake flour in as an alternative for all-purpose flour, okay? Yeah. It's fine. Stop freaking out. It's just flour. Okay, maybe I'll make the bread even more like hua hua. Um, and then we got... What's this? Is this sugar or salt? I don't know. Oh, this is salt. This is... One fourth... Teaspoon of salt. Which is 1.5 grams. I don't know what 1.5 grams mean. Because all of my measuring cups and utensils, they all start at like... They all start at like 30 grams. So... I just... So I just like used a spoon and then I measured it out. So I hope that's what it is, you know? It's like a small pinch of salt. Oh shit, a small pinch of... Is that too much? You know what? I like salty bread, so it's fine. Um... Then we got... Instant yeast. Oh shit! <laughs> we got instant yeast, which is one teaspoon, which is three grams. So that's even less than the salt. Which... Wait, no, 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 no. That's more than the salt. Sorry, that is more... Okay, I was gonna say, like, this looks like it's a, a lot more. So this is three grams. Which... Yeah, I don't know... Which is one teaspoon. Table... Teaspoon? Wait. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, a teaspoon! Yeah, 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 okay, so the small one. Okay. You need some coffee, Anna? <laughs> oh, guys, come on. I even slept early yesterday, okay? I'm, like, really tired. I need to wake up. Should I get some tea? No, it's fine. I'll wake up, like, you know, once I smell food. You should buy a scale? Well, I don't really bake, so I don't feel like I need to buy a scale. Yeah. One tablespoon equals about three teaspoons. Um... Three teaspoons... One... Um, yeah! That is it! Oh, hold on, one second. Well, you know, like, okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, 
salt. Like, you, you know, guys, I don't have a teaspoon. <laughs> I have a spoon, but I don't have a teaspoon. I don't, I don't drink tea with a spoon, you know? I don't know why people drink tea with a spoon. Um, I don't put sugar, I don't put cream. I just... I just... I just drink stuff. You know, I don't even drink soup with a spoon. I'm... I'm Asian. I just drink it from the bowl. Okay, I don't know. Is this a spoon? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit more. That looks like three tablespoons. I think. You know what? Maybe I'll put a little bit more. I don't know. We can never go wrong with too much instant yeast, right? Okay, is that enough, chat? Okay. Alright, that seems like it should be good. Okay. Alright. What? Why are you guys saying... It's just three tea teaspoons! Anyways... What do you mean it's just... <laughs> Stop making me freak out, guys. Come on. Okay, and then we got... Sugar, which one tablespoon, so 13 grams of sugar. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if this is 13 grams. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Look, guys, I don't know how to tell you this. Like, how do I measure? This is the smallest measurement that I have. It's 30 milliliters, which equals to 30 grams. I don't know what that means. So I just eyeballed it. I don't have a weighing scale. I have, like, a human scale. Last ease? It's okay, we'll, like, eyeball it. Don't worry, chat. We always... We always get it. Sort of. Okay, and then we got some sesame seeds, which is, like... You know? Convenient that we have. And then we have milk, 150 milliliters. That one I know I measured right. Okay, and then we need, like, unsalted butter, room temperature, or slightly softened. So this has been out since, like... Since I woke up. I don't know how to do this. It's, like, it doesn't ask to be melted. But it says it has to be 30 grams. So this butter was 200 and... Six... Hmm? 200 and... 70... Oh, shit. Wait, how much was... Wait, oh, let me go check the packaging. And 50 grams. Okay. So we're gonna do some cool math. Okay. So this entire thing is 250. So if we cut that in half, that's 125, okay? So let's do that first. Well, obviously it can't be like accurate, but you know, let's cut the butter in half first. This is not gonna this is not gonna do the trick. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys, don't worry. Okay, let me let me cut it to the side. Let me get some actual knives. I also turned the AC on because I realized it's really fucking hot in here. Okay, so this is 250, okay? Guys, come on. Remember that one game Q remastered? Yeah, we fucking mastered that shit. We can do this. Let's move this. Dangerous. Let's move this. Okay. So this is 100 and, or 250. If we cut it in half, Okay, so now it's 125 grams, okay? Now, 
if we cut 125 grams in half. 125 divided by 2. How much is that? Go! 62.5. Okay. Six. Oh my god! Yeah, 62.5. Okay. So we cut that in half. Now... Perfect. Now... This is 62.5. And then if we cut 62.5 in half, that's 30 something. So that... Oh, so that's fucking 30 grams, guys. Like, you know, approximately. You know, we don't have to be too... Like... There we go! See, that's how you do math. Yeah! Oh my god, we actually did it! Apple Baker! Alright, so we got our butter. Oh my god, alright, we got it. Okay guys, let's do it. So, I want to read the recipe right off of the cookbook. It says preparation steps, okay? Alright, let me wear these like really, really nice um, latex gloves. You sure you measured before the recipe? Yes, I did, chat! Give me some credit! I tried my best and I did math, okay? I promise. I also Googled stuff. We got an egg. Okay. Step one. Add yeast to the milk and mix. Okay. Why do we have to add the yeast to the milk first? And then step two is combine and mix together the flour, sugar, and salt. Okay. So we can do that here. Okay. So... Okay. Um, what's gonna happen if we add... Ye I've, I've never worked with yeast before, so I'm low-key kind of scared. I don't know if it's gonna, like, explode or... You know, the only thing I heard about yeast is, is that it rises stuff, and I don't know what that what that means. Um... Do I have to, like, warm up? I mean, I have to warm up the milk? So the yeast can bloom? Really? But it doesn't say to warm... Okay, let's read the entire thing, actually. Okay, it says, This recipe is a baked bun that is wrapped around a hot dog or sausage, making it similar to pigs in a blanket. I would say the main difference is... This type of dough used flavor and size. The dough will have more of a milk bread texture and overall flavor is sweeter. I ate a lot of these when I started working, so definitely a great snack or when you need something quick. They can be eaten hot or at room temperature. I like warming them up a little in the microwave if they are not fresh out of the oven. Oh shit, I have to use an oven? Fuck. Okay. Oh well, I mean, I have an oven. Um, yeah, it doesn't say to warm it up. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it says instant yeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is instant yeast. It says so on the packaging. So I don't have to warm up the milk, right? I oh know, it's called baking for a reason. There's like no bake oven recipes, okay guys? Oh, yeah, I'm not that dumb, please. Come on. Okay. Room temperature is fine. Wait, is this room temperature? Wait, I'm gonna drink some. Yep. Oh, milk is so good. I, I wish I wasn't lactose. Okay guys, let's do it. Add yeast to the milk. Alright, uh, let's just pray that this is one tablespoon, okay? Come on, God, I believe. Um... Wait, I have to mix it with something, right? Wait, what should I mix it with? Can I mix it with a chopstick? I'm gonna mix it with a chopstick.
Alright guys, so I got... Uh, okay, so these are the utensils that I have that are not reflective and also not branded. So we got a, a rice paddle. Okay, I brought, I brought a spoon. Okay, I brought chopsticks. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna use today, but these are all the utensils that we have that we can use. Okay, okay so I'm gonna use this to mix because that's what I have at home. Alright guys, so step one, add yeast to the milk. Uh, this is instant yeast. Oh shit, it's expanding. What the fuck? I don't know that. That's not, that's not coming off. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna mix it. Okay. And mix. I don't know what this does. But, um... Looks like oat milk or something. Be gentle? Oh. Okay. Is this... Is, does this look right? Ew, this looks so nasty. Okay, I don't know what it... I've never worked with yeast, okay? You can kill yeast? What the fuck is yeast? Is it like, alive? There's microorganisms in there? Okay, well, the milk is not even like... It's room temperature, so it should be fine. It's bacteria? Oh, shit. Ooh, that... Ooh, that sounds nasty. Okay, that just makes my skin crawl. Okay, does this look right? This chat, does this this look is that that looks like there's a bunch of bacteria that's alive. Okay, low key, like I feel like this is right. Yeah? This is good? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that in there. Alright, step two, combine and mix together the flour, sugar, and salt. So we got our flour. Our big bowl of flour. Okay. And it didn't say to sift it, so I, also it's cake flour, so it's finer flour, so I think it should be fine. Okay, um, so add sugar and salt. So we got sugar. Okay, la 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 la. Okay, and we got salt. Okay. Right. I'll put this to the side. Okay. And, uh... It doesn't say to mix, so I guess I'll just leave it in here. Okay, I don't know. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay. Step three. Pour the milk into... Oh, we're okay. We're, we're come, this is back. Pour the milk into the dry mixture. Using your hands or a big spoon, mix the dry and wet ingredients together. I find using the spoon to get a shaggy dough first, and then kneading my hands is easiest. Okay. That says mix. Well, chat, you guys are not the recipe book, so... I'll do like a quick little mix like this, with my rice paddle. This is actually really good for mixing, I'm just saying. It's very versatile. Okay, and then add the milk. Alright, my little bacteria friends. This is so weird. I, I think yeast sounds so nasty. I don't know what... Maybe because I keep thinking about like yeast infection or something. I don't know what the fuck yeast is. But hopefully it makes the bread taste good. Alright, so it says... Okay, using your hands or a big spoon or a rice paddle. So I'm gonna mix it. Okay, hopefully... Honestly, it looks pretty good. Every time I look at like bread making tutorials... Um, this is kind of what it looks like, so... Yeah. It should turn into dough, right? Oh yeah, I feel it. Okay. We're gonna... Mix that in. Why does it look like mud? Because I just added in the water, man. Okay? Like, give it some time. Alright. Hey, this bowl is so big! Like, I'm literally like... Like, I have to go like... like this, you know? Oh, shit. My rice paddle. Don't over mix. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I feel like this still looks like it needs to be mixed. This is not a lot of dough. I thought it would be more. Oh my god, my hands are tired already. I don't know how people bake. I swear to god, bakers have like muscles or something, because I don't know. It's a lot of mixing. Is this supposed to be this wet? Is it because I use cake flour? Okay, I'll keep mixing.
Wait, is this right? Isn't this supposed to be like dough? This is like very muddy dough. Okay, so it says... Um... Kneading my, my, by hand is easiest. Okay. So I want to use my hand. Okay, maybe what I should do is... I want to bring the table down slightly because this bowl is so big. And like, I... It's not that I can't reach it, but it's just harder. Okay, I'm sorry. One second. Alright. Okay. So... Okay, here we go! I don't like kneading. <laughs> it feels like it never comes off my hand. I don't know how to knead. I don't know what it means. Is this how you knead? I feel like we need to put some more flour, but you know what? I'm just gonna trust the process. Yeah, that is, this is very wet dough. Like, I don't... See... Like, okay, is this gonna like turn into something? Because I feel like... I'm gonna get like... I'm making some sort of like human mutation or something. We need more flour? Shit. Well, both of my hands are occupied now. <laughs> Yo guys, why did you say that before I fucking put my hands in, bro? Like, hello? Oh my god. How am I gonna measure flour like this? Usually very wet at first. Yeah, it's a little wet, guys. Like, that's why I... <laughs> hey, guys. See, this is... Okay. Good thing I... We were saying it earlier. <laughs> well, I didn't see it. <laughs> okay, guys. So, remember our motto for this channel. It's, uh... Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Okay? So, step one. I'm gonna use my... I'm gonna use my teeth. Hold on. I'm gonna take off these gloves without getting the fucking black gloves, like, painted. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got this, we got this. Don't worry, chat. I got this. I just need one hand. Okay. Hold on, guys. Oh my god, I can't take it off. It's too slippery. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. We just need a little bit more flour. I feel it. And that's all I need. Oh, actually, I think I should just take this off too, so I don't like make the kitchen dirty. All right, guys, don't worry. Fucking, <laughs> please, Lord. Oh my God, why is it so hard to take? Please, ah! Just let go of my fingers. Yeast. It's fine. Everything's going to be okay. Let go. Oh my god, please! Let go of my fingers! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put them on the side here. And get some more flour. even know what finger is what. Okay. Alright. Let's try it. Okay, I feel like that's still not enough. But we'll keep kneading it, okay? Actually, no, actually, this might be enough. Actually, no, wait. This might not be enough. We might need more. But let's keep mixing. Don't worry, guys. I mean, I do some sort of cooking, so I kind of know what it should look like, or, you know, some- I have, like, cooking intuition, so, you know, it's fine. Okay, we need more. Okay. 
Okay, it's turning out to be more like dough. Okay, yes. I think after this is good. Row that dough. You guys, like, love that song, don't you? Um, yeah. I have other originals to do this night. <laughs> but I have to admit, that one is catchy. Okay, guys. Okay, we're literally only on step three and my fucking arm's already here. I think it's because the bowl is too big. Oh, God. Hey, chat, how does this look? It's like, it's more doughy now. Okay, how the fuck do you need? I have, like this, right? I don't know, man. How does this, does this ever come off the gloves or what's happening? Do I need more flour? I feel like it's good. Oh god. Okay. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Some more flour. Oh god. How five guardian, thank you so much for the 20 gifted! Thank you, thank you! Thanks so much! You got a gifted membership, make sure you guys say thank you! Come on! Come on, yeast! Do your thing! Come on, my yeast bacteria buddies! You are my friend. Actually, no, you are not my friend. But, you are my friend in baking. Not in body. Right? I don't know. I, is it the same type of yeast? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, don't answer that question. Let's just focus on the food. Okay. Guys, this dough is not coming out of my hand. And my arms are tired. I need, like, both my hands? It's, like, literally dragging my gloves down, too. It smells good. It smells like dough. So like, when it comes off of my gloves, is that when? Maybe I need some on my gloves. Ooh. There. Get off. Oh, that kind of works. Maybe it's the gloves. I can't like, knead with like... I wish I could use my actual hands. Instead of wearing gloves to do everything, because the only protection it really does is like literally nothing. <laughs> it's just in the way of everything, you know, like everything that I want to do. Do it off screen, but then I have to go wash my hands, you know. It's a lose lose situation. Okay, I think this is good. Like, this dough seems pretty legit. Okay, right? Is this legit dough? Let's knead it a bit more, and then... Here, I'll put on my other gloves. Actually, my other gloves are fucked. Never mind. God, my arm hurts so much! <sighs> okay. Alright. I think it's good, guys. I think we're gonna do the rest with this rice paddle. Is it possible to knead too much? I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's needed too much. Because then it'd be like tough, right? This one is still like muddy. Not muddy, but like sticky. Yo, I swear to god, we're gonna lose like literally three... ...buns because they're all on my gloves. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take off the gloves. I mean, those off my of my gloves. Make flowers stickier? Oh, that's why. Well, you know, Google said that it's an okay alternative, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna take it all off. Okay. Oh my god. Like... All over my glove. Is this too much dough on a glove? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, I looked at OBS and I was like, yep. Okay, well, you know, we probably lost a little bit of dough, but it's okay. You know, I'm trying to... I'm trying to watch my weight. Not really, but, you know, let's just say that. Okay, this is the best I can do, guys. Like, this is the most amount of dough that I can get off my gloves. I think. Okay, you know what? Um, it's 
fine. Life sucks and so do we, so here you go. Alright. More dough here, but it's like more raw dough here. Be like, I hope I don't like accidentally get some plastic in here, but it's okay. <laughs> I have like, <clears throat> I have. Um, I'm gonna meet up with friends afterwards and give them some of the sausage buns if they don't taste terrible. Oh yeah, I think this is working. This feels like good dough. Oh, this bowl is actually so big. Okay, chat. How does this look? Do I need to put more flour? <sighs> it needs to be smooth. Okay, then I'll put in more flour. It's fine. It says a hundred... No, two hundred and seventy... Like, how are we putting more? I'm gonna... Oh, if you use the rice paddle... Okay, yeah. This is turning more into like dough. Okay, I understand now. I know what to do. Okay, now this is turning more into like dough, guys. Look. Working. I'm telling you the rice paddle is universal. <clears throat> there we go! Oh my god, it's actually forming into a dough. Finally. Finally. Ugh. <sighs> I didn't think I was gonna exercise this morning. But this is actually exhausting. This bowl is too big. And I'm just not used to mixing for 20 minutes straight. Okay guys, this actually looks more like dough. Like dough that you can touch. Okay. Is this good enough? Should I put more flour? A little sticky inside. A bit more. Okay, guys. Next time, just write like 400 grams of flour. This is a lot of flour. I feel like our yeast is like dying. <coughs> okay. This should be good. Okay, this is good. I feel it now. Okay, this is actually good. Because now everything is actually smoothing out. And maybe this is one I should have needed. I'm telling you guys, these utensils that I brought in stream today, they're universal. Like you can literally do any... You can scrape with a chopstick, you can pick things up with a chopstick, you can mix with a chopstick. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna like put it all together. Okay, now I'm gonna wear... <clears throat> I'm just gonna wear a glove so I can like... Kind of like... Emerge all the dough together because there are bits and pieces that separated. So, now I can do this. Okay, maybe I should have done this like at this part. Well, that makes more sense. Okay, chat. We are good now. Okay! Oh yeah, that's... Yep, that looks right. <laughs> okay! Now... We have to wait for it to rise? Okay. Number four. Knead the dough for about five minutes or until all are incorporated. If the dough is too sticky, you can add more flour. Oh. However, the dough should still be slightly tacky and not dry. Oh yes, it's not dry at all. Flatten the dough slightly by pressing with your hands. Wait, let it rise? Wait, do I have to let it rise? Ah! Oh shit, I used my... Oh shit, it didn't even stick, on, stick onto my gloves. But it doesn't say that I need to let it rise. Oh, 
Wait, do I actually have to make it right? It should be way better. Cover the bowl to let it rise. Okay. Like this? Can I do this? To make it rise? Like if I cover it? Like this? How bad is it going so far? Yo, Diego! Yo, Diego, this doesn't even look bad! It's dull! You're... F you're French? I was gonna be like, oh my god, I'm gonna dox him, but... No, you're not for me. It's French. You're French! You know what you're doing! French bakeries, you know? Also, Diego knows how to bake, so... Diego, look at my dough! It looks pretty good, no? Yeah, wait, Diego! I need your help! I know what I'm doing. Okay, stop. Yo, okay, Diego, it doesn't look... Uh, it does, on the recipe, it doesn't say that I need the dough for it to rise. But do I need to make the dough rise? Also, how do I make the dough rise? So there's two questions. Do I need to do it? And number two is how? Please, bestie, help me. Oh my god, what a convenient time to come in. While you're answering, I will try to get the rest of the dough off. Because we wasted way too much dough on the other gloves. Oh my god. It smells really good. Did he answer? It depends on the dough here. You could legit just leave it rest outside the, with a towel on top of your bowl. A towel? Okay, I'll let it rest for a couple minutes. Well, I do have a towel actually. Okay. I'm taking out my plastic glove. I use a towel. In a warm place? But it, I have the AC on because it's hot. Okay. Can I turn the AC off? There. I covered it. <sighs> I need to take a break. <laughs> it should be okay? Okay. I can, like, also put my hands over it, you know, like, human warm. Should I, like, hug the bowl? So it's warmer? I can do that. Like, if I do this, like, if I hug it... Will it have, like, human... <laughs> like, you know? Sit on the bowl like it's your baby bird. Bro, what are you doing? Wait, like, actually though, like, how do I make it rise? Like, how long will it take? Diego! How long will it take? Wait, how long should I wait for it to rise? Please don't say one hour. I'm hungry. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna listen to anyone except Diego because I know that Diego can make a really fucking good cake. Sometimes it takes a while, like half an hour to an hour. Okay, you know what? This is perfect. Bread takes a while to rise. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Okay, while we're... Okay, we're waiting for our bread to rise. While we're doing that, let me tell you guys a story, okay? From... Yesterday or two days ago? Okay, guys. So, two days ago. Okay, the story time. This story should probably take about, like, 30 minutes. Anyways. Okay, we're gonna... Here. Um, should I write something? Actually, it's fine. I don't have a pencil. <laughs> okay. So, two days ago... I think I told my chat... That, um, I was gonna have some repairmen come in to fix some things, like my dryer is broken, there's a hole in my wall, I wonder why. <laughs> no, it wasn't me, guys, I promise. It was just like, you know. And then, so like, there's, th so, you know, I didn't hire a company for, for like, you know, fixing. Because they have, nowadays we have all these apps, right? We got like these apps where you can hire like, people to do basically like commission work, right? So then... So then... So I hired a dude to come in and fix my dryer, okay? So... So... Last week, they came and they took a look at it and they were like, Oh, I don't have the right tool so I can come this week. Like, like yes, yesterday, I guess. So I can come next week to like, um, fix it properly. So, two days ago, he came in and he took a look at the dryer and he was like, 
Oh yeah, I I can fix it. So the first like hour or so, it was fixing it. Okay. And you know I was like you know I you know when people come to your home to like fix things, you don't just like walk away and shit. You like kind of sit near them to just make sure they don't fuck anything up. And number two, steal shit. I don't have anything to steal, honestly. Um. But you know, you just watch over them, right? So I was in the living room watching... <laughs> I was watching Netflix, okay? I was watching some drama show. It's called Sunset... Something something. It's about like... Okay, the Netflix show... I forgot what it's called. But basically, I was re I was watching it. And it's about like these... um, uh, Real estate agents who like try to sell billion dollar... Like million to billion dollar houses to like celebrities. Really, really rich people who just like need a lot of space for some reason. Okay, so I was watching that. Oh yeah, Selling Sunset, that one. <laughs> Yo, I'm like on the latest season. I used to watch like, I watched all of the other ones. Okay, so I was watching that shit. So while this man was fixing my dryer out the, in the living room, all you can hear is, I can't believe you're such a fucking bitch. Yeah, don't come into my business and ruin my business because my business is really important to me. And if you try to ruin my career, I'm going to come after you. But, you know, it was like shit like that, you know. So while he was tr fixing my dryer in the living room, you could all you all you can hear is like these petty ladies with a lot of money selling to people um, who have even more money. And it was like, that's, you know, that's my favorite show so far. OK, so. So, yeah, after. So while he was like, um. Testing out the dryer, okay? So, he was testing out the dryer. Um, he was here for quite a quite a while. So, he was here in a, for a total of, like, almost three hours. But, like, the second hour, you know, I felt kind of bad that he stayed this, this long. So, I was like, hi, he said, you, would you like some water? And the guy was like, oh, uh, yeah, sure, that'd be amazing. And, and then he was like, Ashley, do you have coffee? And then I was like, no, I don't. Sorry, I don't drink coffee. But I have tea. And he's like, yeah. Tea would be so amazing. And I'll be like, okay. So I, I made tea. But I was like, I'm, I, I needed to make him understand like, oh, by the way, it's like hot tea. It's not like, you know, like tea where you put like fruit in it and then put some, some fucking matcha fruit apple and then like some peppermint. Like, I don't make that shit, you know? So I wanted like, I was basically, I was like, yeah, I'm not, this is like tea from Asia. You know, the loose leaf, the hot water, the waiting. Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, I've never tried it before, but I'd love to try it. And I'm like, okay. And he's, and then I like literally, okay, this is the part where I get excited because when people are interested in tea, the first thing I do is I open my cabinet and there's just like a wall of tea, okay? It's like my collection. It's like, it's like the museum that nobody ever wants to visit unless they mention that they want to drink tea. And then I'm like, I got you. Okay. So I open up my entire cabinet. I'm like, okay, what kind of tea would you like? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so the dude, first of all, he's like astonished. He's like, oh my god, that's a lot of tea. I was like, yes. So I like go like, this is Earl Grey, okay. This is Oolong, this is Puar. Okay, I start speaking Chinese and he's really confused because he does not speak any Chinese at all, okay? And I'm like, this is Sencha, this is Matcha. This Okay, so I have like all these teas. And the guy looks at it, gets really overwhelmed, and he's like, uh, what do you recommend? I'm like, hmm, okay, how are you, are you feeling hot? Are you cold? Do you have stomach problems? Look, I, like, I basically brought out my doctor's degree, and I was like, okay, so if you're not feeling well here, I can give you this sort of tea. If you're not, if your feet hurt, I can give you this sort of tea. If your head hurts, I can give you that sort of tea. The guy is just like, honestly, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it to you. And I was like, okay. So I, you know, I start him off easy. I'm like, okay. Um, it's it's summer, so it's hot. So I'm gonna give you sencha. Sencha is like a type of green tea. It's sencha from Japan, by the way, that I brought from Japan on my way back from the trip. Um, so you know, in the summertime, you usually want to drink green tea because like green tea, like you know, helps decrease your body temperature. Or at least that's what the old ladies tell me. You know, I just I'm just gonna believe them. So I was just like, okay. So I'm gonna give you some sencha. So sencha. You know, the important thing about sencha and any type of green tea is like you can't, you can't like use super duper hot boiling water, okay? That's too much. You have to use like a, to a certain temperature. So I, I literally looked at him in the eye. I was like, this is going to take a while. I look at him as if I was like a fucking biology chemist or something. I looked at him and I was like, um, this is going to take some time. And he looked at me, smiled, and he was like, that's okay. 
So I start going into my laboratory, okay? Which is my kitchen. Okay, I'm like fucking like, you know, I'm boiling the water, making sure that we wait the the You know, I wish I could apply this skill to baking because the way that I make tea is so precise sometimes. So I'm boiling the water, I'm waiting the right amount of time for it to cool down to a certain temperature, okay? You don't use like Cold water to add it in. Okay, no, 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 no. You wait for the boiling water to get down on its own. Okay, and then I use like this really nice teapot. Okay, and then I put like the right amount of tea leaves into the strainer. Okay, not too much because then it'll be bitter. Not too little because then it's too light. Okay, and then I like when the temperature hit, when the temperature hit its um exact temperature that I needed, I pour that shit in. I pour the water in. Okay, let the green tea set in the water for like X amount of minutes or seconds or something. And then I take it out. And then I give him this cup and I'm like, when you drink, I need you to smell this first. I literally was like, we, I t totally just took up more time, honestly. I was like, you need to smell this. And he smelled and he's like, oh, it smells kind of like, uh, like, like the ocean. And I kind of understand, like, you know. There's a little bit of like this savory smell to it. It's like an umami thing. I don't know. It's like he was saying that it smelled almost like miso, but you know, it's like that savory tank smell that you smell in Sencha. Yeah, like a little bit. So I get it. It's not supposed to be super savory, but like people who are sensitive to smell, I think they can kind of smell the the savory part of Sencha. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, now that you've smelled it, you can uh Drink it. Be very careful. It's still kind of hot. So he drinks the tea, okay? And then he looks at me. <laughs> this motherfucking bitch, I swear to God. He looks at me. He's like, it's okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you know, this is why I don't put an effort into like people, you know, like in this, <laughs> like, this bro, just like, okay. No, I swear to God. No, it's not me, guys. The tea was so good. I drank the tea afterwards. I'm like, bro, this tea is so good. I, what the. I'm pretty sure he's just not used to the taste. You know, but lie or something, you know? It's an acquired taste. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Um, yeah. Fix my dryer, bro. So, he looked at me with the most sincere smile I've ever seen in my life. He looked at me, he's like, mm -hmm, it's okay. You know, and in my head, I'm just like, it's okay. Your palate is just incompetent. It's not your fault. It's just your genes, okay? So, you know, I'm just like, oh, do you like it? If you don't like it, I can get you something else. Like, just water. You know, like Brita water. Or maybe even unfiltered Brita water. You know, just because, you, you know, because I'm petty like that. Um, <clears throat> but he was like, no, 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 no. This is great. So he, okay, this is the weird part. And I'm not joking, chat. I'm low-key kind of naive sometimes. The guy, you know, I gave him tea, right? So I was thinking like, oh yeah, he could drink this while he's working on it. Working on the dryer, continuing to work on it. The guy... <laughs> the guy starts sitting down. <laughs> I'm like, he starts sitting down on my couch. I'm like, uh, okay. That's when I'm like, okay. I mean, like I did give him tea. So maybe he just wants to finish it before he continues. You know, like a two minute break. So in my head, I'm just like, okay. Maybe he's tired or something. I don't know. So, he sits down on my <laughs> Yeah, in my head, I'm like, this guy's making himself feel at home, okay. So he sits down on the couch, and I'm sitting on a chair in the living room, because I'm about to continue watching, you know, Selling Sunset, because I want to know what happens to, like, Chriselle, you know? And if you know the characters in this uh, TV series, then, um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I sit over there. Then he starts off conversation, you know, he looks over to my Niji merch, which I totally forgot to put away. First of all, I... The guy was coming in at like 5 p.m., but I for some reason thought he was coming at 6. So I was gonna take a nap before he came, and I woke up at 5.30, and good thing he told me that he was gonna be late, because like, I totally thought he was gonna come at 6. So that's why I woke up really abruptly, Rushed to like move everything so he had like space to repair the dryer. Um, but then I totally forgot to like put away my Niji merch because I just like to display that shit in the living room as if like people fucking know who the fuck I am every time they enter this house, you know? But the only people who ever come into my house is Millie, so it's fine. And my mom. And my mom doesn't care about me, so it's fine. So like the guy looks over with the tea that he says that is okay. He looks to my. He looks to the side, he looks at my merch, he's like, So, uh, you like anime and manga? I'm like, oh shit. I start swelling my balls. I'm like, shit, I'm not... I was like, um, 
Uh, yeah, I start changing my voice by, you know, like, like an instinct because, you know, I don't know, I'm famous, guys. So I was like, yeah, I, I like anime and manga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cold, you know? So then he's like, oh, yeah, I like, I, I don't really know too much about it, but I like anime. I watch a little bit, too. And I was just like, yeah, yeah? What, kind of, what, what kind of anime do you watch? And the guy goes like, Hunter, Hunter. And then my, you know, my voice goes back to normal. I'm like, Hunter, Hunter. Oh, my God. You know, Alira's. Favorite anime, I'm just like, oh my god, I love Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter is so good. Totally forgot that, like, you know, almost kind of knocks myself. But, you know, he didn't know, obviously, because he thought we were anime, which we aren't. Psh. So then I was like, oh my god, I love Hunter x Hunter. Did you read the manga? He's like, no, I don't read manga. I just watch the anime. I was like, oh, what other animes have you watched? He's like, uh, I've watched, uh, I forgot what he, you know. And then he was like, do you have any other animes you want to recommend me? I'm like... I was like, hmm, I looked at the guys, and you know, he, he likes to like repair things, he likes to go outside, he talked a lot about himself, he was like, oh yeah, I love surfing, I love skiing, he likes to do outdoor activities, I'm like, this man likes shonen anime for sure, like, I was like, do you know what shonen anime means? And he was like, no, what does that mean? I was like, it means that the protagonist is a very adventurous character and usually a dude. And he's like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I was like, yeah, you sound like you like shonen because you're low-key almost like a shonen protagonist. Except you're old and... Yeah. Um, so then I was like, okay. If there's one shonen anime that I really, really like, it's Haikyuu. So I recommended him and he was like, oh, how do you spell it? So I spelled it for him. And then like I showed him a, a Google image of like, um, you know, Kageyama. Because he's one of my favorite characters. So I'm like, okay. This is a really good um, anime, shonen anime about like a bunch of... I don't know, is it middle schoolers or high schoolers who like are competing in the tournament for uh, volleyball. And he's like, oh, I love volleyball. I'm like, yeah, me too, in anime. <laughs> and he's like, do you play volleyball? I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't play volleyball. I watch volleyball. And he's like, oh, you watch the tournaments. I'm like, no, I watch Haikyuu. <laughs> like, bro, I'm trying, guy, the guy thinks I'm a normie. I'm like, do you look at my setup? Hello? So, you know, then he, then he changes the top topic into like sports, right? He's like, D do you like to go outside? And I'm like, I'm like, no. Then I start like, you know, my conversations start to kind of drift off because I can't really relate anymore. So I was like, oh yeah, I don't really like go outside, you know, because of my work. And he's like, what do you do? I was like, oh shit. The good thing, Anna Alouette always has some sort of like, you know, preparation in mind. Okay, I was like, I'm an audio engineer. <laughs> Okay, that's the best thing I can come up with because I kind of know something about it because I sing. So I was like, um, yeah, I'm an audio engineer. And the guy was like, wow, you must know a lot because I've never heard anybody say uh, say that. What, is, what does that mean? I was like, oh, you know, like Beyonce when she records, like there's like a whole team that mixes her, mi mixes her singing into the music. Yeah, that's what I do. And then he was like, you work for Beyonce? I was like, no, I don't work for Beyonce. But I work for people who strive to become like Beyonce. So it's like kind of the same thing, you know? So I was like, yeah, I mean, who knows? I could be working for the next Beyonce. You never know. Anyway, so he was asking like, he was asking like, um, so what, uh, how, how does it work? How does audio engineering work? And I'm just, uh, well, you know, you got to record first and then after you record, you clean up the vocals, you know, something like spit take, you know, and then like puff take, like, and then you take all that shit out and then you tune them, especially if they're really, really off tune, like, ah, you can tune it like, oh, you know, I was trying to like explain it to him and he just looks super interested, man. And at this point, I still just think he was like a really nice dude. Like he was just like a chill dude. He was honestly very nice from the start to the end. You know, he was just a very genuine, polite dude. He was really, really curious. Yeah. And he was just like asking a bunch of, que a bunch of questions. And I was just like, yeah. Um, that's what I do. But I, uh, you know, I don't really go outside. And he's like, you must have really good ears. I was like, yeah, huh? uh, uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, like, you know, when... People snore, I can't fall asleep. When people talk in their sleep, I can't fall asleep. When people's dogs bark in the morning, I can't fall asleep. Yeah, I have pretty... Yeah, I would say I have sensitive ears, yeah. So then, um... What about the dryer? Okay, I know. At this point, I'm just like, okay, bro, like... <laughs> am I paying for this or what's happening? <laughs> so like, you know, he's still drinking. He's like halfway done his tea, right? I swear to God, I don't know if that tea was still hot or something, but... Okay, so then... 
Why are you guys saying congratulations? Nothing's happened yet. Okay, let me get to the story, guys. Please. Don't don't jump to conclusions. Okay. So then... So then... um, You know, he starts asking more questions. He's like, uh, yeah, do you have any hobbies? I'm just like, uh... I literally don't have any hobbies, guys. I don't know what the fuck I do. I literally couldn't think of anything. I could have just said anything. I could have been like, oh yeah, my hobby is like, uh, just skiing or something. I was just like, oh yeah, I like to sing. And then I fucking forgot that like, oh shit, usually if you say that, people will ask like, oh my god, do you have like a YouTube? Do you have like examples of your singing? And I'm just like, oh shit, I should not have said that I sung. And the guy was just like, the guy was just like, oh, you like singing? He looked real, first of all, this got me kind of offended. He looked super, he looked super surprised. I said, I like to sing, you know? And this guy looks at me, he's like, oh, really? I'm just like, why? What are you saying? I can't sing or something, bitch? What the fuck? You, you, why, why? You want you want to see? Like, hello? What, what's, what do you, what's wrong with my voice? What do you think is wrong with my voice? Like, say it to my face. I want you to say whatever the fuck you thought in your head. I want you to say it to my face. I was like, why? Do you think I can't sing? He's like, no, 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 no. I'm just surprised. What kind of music do you like to sing? I was like, and then I looked over to my Niji merch and I looked back at him. I'm like, anime? <laughs> And he's like, yeah, of course. He's like, yeah, uh, I've never gone to karaoke before, but I'd love to go with my friends one day. I was like, yeah, I go with my friends all the time. You know, it's a good stress reliever. You know, I just think about like me hanging out with Millie and Alira and just like singing our hearts out, you know? Yeah. And then he was like, yeah, I'd love to go to karaoke one day. It would be my first time. I was like, yeah, you should. Like, at this point, I'm still like su really stupid. Like, when I look back on this scenario, I would have been like, girl. <clears throat> I think he thinks that you're flirting with him. I was like, yeah, you totally should go to karaoke. It's so much fun. You should go with your friends, like, tomorrow. I literally said shit like that. <laughs> I know. <coughs> I know. I'm so stupid. I need to drink water, guys. My, my throat's dying. Okay, but like, because like, you know, I haven't interacted with people in a long time. So in my head, I think everybody's like chat, you know, you just don't have a chance. So I'm just like, yeah, you should go with your friends tomorrow. Yeah, you know, like there's like this one place, like you drive like straight left, right, left, uh, straight again. Yeah, you can go there. It's a really good karaoke place. And the guy's just like, oh, you know your stuff. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm practically like bootleg Beyonce. And then he was gonna, and then he was just like, yeah. And then, okay, and then he finished the tea and he went back to fixing on the dryer, okay? And then I went back to watching Selling Sunset. I was like, la 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 la. And then the guy was just like... The guy was, and then, you know, I was just like... He was working really hard. The guy was like sweating, okay? My house is kind of like... Warm, so... Yeah, I was like, if you want more water, just let me know. And he's like, yeah, sure, I'd love, you know, some water this time. So I gave him some water. Um, and then like, he, he had to wait for something... You know, he had to wait for like... You know, a couple minutes for like something to work in the dryer. Um, so he sat down. <laughs> so this time he's not sitting on the couch. He's sitting on the the living room table. You know where I was sitting, watching Selling Sunset. So he sits on the chair right across from me while I was like watching this Netflix show. So this Netflix show, like he wanted to talk to me, but I didn't stop the Netflix show. So he was trying to have a conversation with me while like these girls in the background were like. Oh yeah, so this is a million dollar home and the view is really beautiful. Like, don't you just love it? Oh my god, I love it. I'm gonna buy it. Can I put in like, I don't know, let's say 26. You know, I didn't stop the Netflix show. Like, he wanted to have a conversation with me, but I wanted to know what was happening with like, you know, you know, all these like lovely ladies, you know. So, you know, the guy sat down and he's just like, Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be about done. I just wanna ask. He literally, like, I'm not even saying, this guy was not creepy at all, okay? He was not like, weird, creepy, or... You know, impolite or anything. I did think it was a little bit weird to like go into someone's house and then, you know, but, you know, it's okay. <clears throat> so the guy sat down, he's like, Hey, I really like your energy. And I was like, Oh my god, yeah, I like your energy too. It's so, you're so nice. You're the nicest repair. <laughs> At this point, I still didn't, <laughs> I still didn't, I still didn't like, I, my, my neurons weren't clicking, okay? First of all, I just want to say, okay, I'm a little bit dumb, but number two, I was watching Sunset. Selling Sunset, my head was like in this drama, okay? And I was just thinking like, oh my god, like, wow. So many friendly people in my house. <laughs> just one other person, but like, you know, I was just like, oh my god. Um, yeah, that's so nice. Like, you're, you're, I was like, I, I looked at her, I'm like, yeah, you're like the coolest repair person that's come into my house. Like, everybody else just like, 
you know, does a shit job. But this guy was, like, really good with his job. He was, like, very serious, you know. When when he went back to work, he wouldn't talk at all. He just was like, yes, I need to do this. This, like, it actually... Yeah, he was very serious about his job, right? And then he sat down, and he was just like, yeah, I really like your energy. And I interrupted him, and I feel like he was about to say something. I was like, oh, yeah, I really like your energy, too. You're, like, so nice, dude. And then he was like, yeah, and I was wondering if you wanted to hang out. And then... <laughs> When he said that, okay, let, let's pretend this is my brain, okay? Let's pretend this is my brain, okay? This is Anna Alouette's brain, okay? Let's say I have, like, these are all my neurons, okay? As soon as he said, yo, um, I was wondering if you'd like to hang out. All the neurons in my brain connect, like, do, 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 you know, like, those, like, dot puzzles, like, do, 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 okay? All the neurons in my brain connected, and in my brain, all the neurons came together and spelled, you dumbass. <laughs> okay? Like, literally in my brain, it was like, you dumb fuck. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I have Riz, but I don't even know when I'm using it. You know? The guy goes like, and then I do the most, like, you know, every person that doesn't want anything more will say this line. They say this. They're like, as friends? <laughs> I was like, I didn't even want to be this guy's friend. I don't want to, I just wanted him to fix my dry and get out. You know, I don't want to make, make friends. I'm happy with my friends. My friends are on the internet, far away from me. So the guy goes like... The guy is very nice, though. He was just like... The wedding stream actually had... A, I know! The wedding stream had an effect! And it, like, took me... Like, I was taken aback a little bit. I was like, oh, shit. What, is he going to do something bad now? I was so scared. Okay. I was so scared, I like had my phone in my hand and I was about to call 911. Even though he didn't literally do anything that was illegal. He was just like, oh yeah, how old was this dude? He was around, he was honestly like a couple years older than me. Um, that's why I low-key was scared, you know? Um, and then so, because I was scared because like it was in my home, you know? I was just like, shit. The, the, I looked at the windows like, okay, the window's unlocked, the door's unlocked, I have two escape zones. Also, you know, I could, you know, I don't know, man. I could, there's like, there's a hammer underneath the cabinet on the left corner side. I mean, just in case. But anyways, he was very nice, you know. He was just like, so I said, oh, you want to, um, you want to hang out as friends? My voice starts going into like frog bird mode. I was like, yeah, you want to, uh, like, as friends or like, you know. And he's like, uh, and the way that he said it was so nice too. He's like, I was kind of hoping we could hang out. With the intention of being more than friends. I just think you're so lovely. And I don't want you to think that I do this with all of my clients. And I was just like... So in my head, I'm just like, oh shit, this is actually a genuine person. I was like, oh... And then, you know, the neuron that's like, get the hammer. Just, you know, let let that thought go. I was just like, oh shit. I know! I know, chat! This is insane! That's why I was on Twitter like, oh my god, I don't know what the fuck's happening. Help! I was so like... I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't uncomfortable because of him. But I was uncomfortable because of the situation. You know, I don't really, like, do shit <laughs> ever. I don't, you know... I just, like, sit there. I'm, I was literally watching Netflix. And this shit just happens because, like, I don't know what the fuck happened. I literally just gave this guy tea. I wish I could give people tea and they can just fall in love with me, you know? So, so like, I don't know what the fuck happened, but he really seemed interested and he was like sitting across from me and I was like, oh my god. I was like, you know, in my head, I was like, you know what? This is like literally an opportunity. And I'm just kidding. I was going to say like, and I don't have a boyfriend, guys. I'm just kidding. No, we're not. Um, So I was like, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the part that's really funny. I super duper panicked and I was like, I'm actually going to be moving. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be moving to Japan with my dad because he misses me and he's getting old and he says if I don't like live beside him sooner um, He's gonna die of old age alone and really lonely So I'm gonna go back to Japan like uh, maybe in three months And he looked at me with the saddest face ever And then I continued to like, you know, stretch this lie I was just like, yeah, that's why I asked you to like fix my dryer because I needed to get everything fixed so that the landlord doesn't charge me things And yeah, sorry And then <laughs> And then he was like Really? You're gonna go back to Japan? I was like, yeah, family's really important to me. I love my dad. He's my bestest friend. Uh, yeah, um, my, um, my dad wants me to die unmarried and a virgin, so that is the thing I will do. <laughs> okay, I didn't say that last part, but yeah. So I was like, yeah, sorry, actually, I'm gonna move back 
to Japan and because okay the th the reason why I said this is because like in one of the conversations he mentioned that he mentioned that he actually lived quite close to me and that Loki kind of freaked me out when I remembered so that's why I was like okay yeah I'm moving just in case you know just in case he was like just in case I like said no and he kind of persisted that was the thing I was afraid so like yeah I, I just wanted to make sure that like stuff like that doesn't happen because I still don't know the guy even though I thought he was nice I just didn't know if he was gonna be like I don't know now he knows where I live right so I was just like okay <clears throat> I'm moving <laughs> to another country where you can't follow. So, with it, with my dad. So, yeah. Okay. Also, chat, you know, I'm not really... I know, this is gonna sound really weird, but... You know, I wasn't really, like, I don't... I wasn't really particular. I'm not in a state of mind where I really want to date anyone or even, like, try. I'm really happy streaming and... Having all my Niji merch out in the living room in freedom. <laughs> So like, yeah, I was like, I, you know, I was just, you know, was he cute? Uh, he was okay. I mean, like, you know, not my type. <laughs> I don't know what my type is. But it's not that type. And I was just like, you know, <laughs> you know, maybe I'm like playing too much video games and like people in the video games look too good or something. I don't know. But like, you know, I'm I'm not picky. I swear. I just like, okay. And then I hit an epiphany. Okay, guys. Like all once, all of this was happening so fast. But in my brain, I was logically trying to understand why I wasn't comfortable. Not because of him. Um, I was just wondering, like, why am I, like, low-key kind of freaking out and, like, really scared? And then I realized, I don't think I can really, like, feel comfortable going out on, like, for example, a date with a stranger. I think for me, I really have to start from, like, friendship. Because, like... Yeah, I can't, like, jump into that because it makes me so uncomfortable. That That's the epiphany that I hit, okay? Like, I was sitting there, I was like, Oh my god, this is, like, one of your... This is a chance. You literally... God has given you... You're watching Selling Sunset. <laughs> and God has graciously put this man in your house, fixed your shit, and showed you that people can be very nice. And this is a chance. And then I looked at God, and I'm like... Nah, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, what's happening to me? What's going on? What's happening? And then, you know, all those, like, you know, advertisements of, like, are you gay? Is it LGBT? You know, like, all that started coming into my head. I'm like, oh shit, what's happening? But anyways, uh, besides that, I was like, I was just, you know, but then I realized, like, I have to, like, become friends with somebody first, and then, and then I think, I'll be more comfortable going into, like, you know, the dating intention. Which takes a while. Honestly, if I think about it, it makes sense. Because, um... <clears throat> because, um... Because, like, when I think about, like, my friendship with Millie, like, it took so long for us to get close. Well, only because, like, at that stage when I first met Millie, I was very close off. Like, nowadays, it's, like... Nowadays, it's like, um, I'm a little bit more open than I was when I was younger, so I guess I can be closer to people faster. But yeah. But anyways, yeah, he looked so sad when I told him I was gonna move to Japan. And he was like... He literally said things, he... And then he started saying kind of like... I guess you could say it was cute, but also kind of like quirky and also low-key kind of like weird. But he started saying things, I'm gonna write a petition to the landlord board. To make sure that the rent and everything is like lowered so you'll stay here. And I was like, I looked at this dude in the eyes, like, okay, look, the rent is high, but writing a petition to the landlord is not gonna help anything because overall it's the economy, and you know, it's because of, you know, there were like some rich people that came out from the, that were out from the country, that like came into the country to buy the property, raised the, raised everything up, and then went back to their country, so they're making money from our country and their country, so they're fucking richer than ever. And then meanwhile, in the locals, where we all live, we can't afford shit because they raised up all the property. I literally looked at him and I was like, look, I was saying that. Yeah, I know he was joking. I was just, you know, I don't know what the fuck to say. I was like, oh no. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know how to be like, oh, I know, right? If the, if the rent was lower, I would have totally stayed. I don't know how the fuck to say that, so I was telling him, like, that I was literally talking to him about economy. The guy looked at me and he's just like, then I'm gonna write a letter to the government. I was like, I don't think... I, li I literally said this. I was like, I don't think they're gonna listen to, like, a dry... 
dry dryer repairman dryer machine repairman no offense i think we need like maybe 20,000 of you and maybe they might consider it but like just one of you they're not really going to care they don't care about you <laughs> I, I, I didn't know i was like i was like i didn't know what to say i was like kind of like I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. I was just like, I literally was just like, yeah. I don't think the government cares about you. <laughs> I was so like, I was so. Uh, I'm so bad at this, guys. I'm sorry, but you know, it's good content. Yeah. I was like, uh, yeah. I mean, the government doesn't care about me either. Like, you know, they care about me less compared to you, probably. You know, at least you have like a stable job. I, I could lose my job tomorrow. And then I'd be on the streets, and the government would not give me shit. You know. So yeah, I literally said shit like that. It was so awkward. And then, you know, he... And then, like, the dryer thing, like, started beeping. So that was the... So that was when um, he had to go back to fix it. Like, do the finishing fixes. Because we waited for that sound to come. So that we knew that it was working. So then... So then, like, uh, he went back to work. I fucking grabbed my phone. I text my in-real-life friend. You know, my in-real-life bestie. I'm like... <laughs> I text all my besties, okay? I'm like, hey, yo, are you here? Some of them were on, not online. I was like, yo, yo, wake up, wake up. You know, I was like, yo, I was like texting everyone. I was like, yeah, wake up, wake up. Hello? Let's, and nobody was awake. Okay, like, I don't know why. Like, everybody was like AFK, you know, hanging out with their friends, playing league. I don't know. Who the fuck cares? But there was this one inner life bestie, okay? She had my back. I texted her. I'm like, girl, this is so random and off topic. But like, there's this man who's trying to riz me up in my own house. And the first thing she says, like, oh my God, is, she, is he cute? And then he's like, wait. Are you comfortable? Do you need me to call you? And this, my bestie, this, this girl bestie, I love her, you know? I would marry her, you know, in a heartbeat. So I was like, I was like, uh, I'm like, he's really nice and really mature and he's not being weird or anything. I'm just like uncomfortable with this situation. And she's like, oh yeah, that's totally fair, you know? She was really like giving me emotional support through this entire thing, you know? I was just like texting and he's just like, oh yeah, uh, can you hand me like, the, the tool over there, like, I'll need to... Can you open the window? Because there's, like, some dust or something. Yeah, he was, like, trying to do his job. And I'm just like, here with my phone, like, with the sun... With still the Netflix show selling Sunset in the background with the... Fuck you, fucking bitch. This is my business. You know, I was like, there's so much shit going on. So much stimulation, like, visually, aud auditorily, you know. I was texting my friend, like, I'm gonna help me. I'm being rich. I don't know what to do. I literally talked to him about economy. I don't know. I don't know shit about the economy. <laughs> and then... And then she's like, yeah, it's okay. Um, if you need anything, just let me know. I, I can call you right now. And I was just like, okay. I was being such a posy, you know. He literally didn't do shit. He was just fixing my dryer. So, yeah. And then, yeah, he was just, so when he was done, he was like, he was like, uh, do you have social media? I'm like, no. He's like, do you have, um, Facebook? I was like, bro, this is, it's 2023. Like, come on. The only reason you have Facebook is to talk to your mom. And he's like, okay, yeah, true. And he's like, do you have like, you know, he was just asking for my social media. And then, you know, and then I remembered that like when I, um, when I showed him, my guy needed to stop there, man. Come on. I know. Okay. That's why I was feeling kind of pressured at the end. Yeah. He's kind of persistent. So, so then I was like, and then like I had a flashback in my head. Okay. Remember when I was searching up Q and showing him? He probably saw that I had some sort of social media. Like, he saw for sure. So I felt like if I said, like, oh, I don't have... Like, he was asking me everything. He was like, do you have Instagram? Do you have Facebook? Do you have Twitter? Do you have, I don't know, Google Review? I was just like, shit, shit, he knows. Okay, so then I was like... So then I was like, yeah, I can add you on one of these. <laughs> I gave him, like, a fake one. <coughs> I gave him, like, a fake one. I was just like, yeah. But I just want you to know that I never used this. And then he's like... And then he's like... Oh, you don't have any social media that you are consistently on? I'm like, nah, I hate social media. Like, you know, I, I'm one of those, um... Woke people who, like, really understand the... I don't know what the fuck I said. I was, like, bullshitting my... Um, yo, I was... This is the... You know how you diarrhea? <laughs> like... You know, down there, I was diarrheaing through my mouth. Like I was vomiting the most BS shit I've ever heard myself speak. I was just like, <laughs> I don't know what I said. Okay, I was like, I was like, yeah, I don't use social media. I think it's terrible on the young people nowadays. I've, I'm, I'm actually part of this like activist group where we actively try to stop people around our age to use less social media at least like three times a week. 
three to five times a week and then eventually not at all. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I said. That's something along the lines of that, okay? And I'm just... Basically, that... Yeah. The guy was just like, okay. Um, well, I'll add you on that one social media anyways. So, yeah, I gave him one. And I was like, yeah, ha -ha. He's like, can we keep in touch? And I was like, Gonna, the dryer works! Yeah! I'll never forget this day, I promise. I literally was just like, I'll never forget this day. In a way that was just like... Well, I literally said it like that. It's not like, I'll never forget this day. I was like, I will not forget this day. Because I have dementia, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and he's just like, Yeah, I hope we can get in touch and maybe we could see each other one last time before you leave for Japan. And I was like... <laughs> you know... I got a lot of work. <laughs> I work every day. I was like, I work Sundays and Saturdays, which is not a which is not a lie, guys. It's not a lie at all. I was like, I work Sundays and Saturdays. Sometimes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Honestly. And he's like, Oh, do you usually work mornings or nights? I was like, <laughs> Actually, the other day I worked at 10 a.m. and the other day I worked 8 p.m. So it really sometimes I'm up until like 2 a.m. So yeah. Also, I gotta see my mom every Sunday. And I gotta see... This... I gotta see my babu every other week, you know? And, you know, I was just like saying a lot. So anyways, this fi this guy finally packs up his toolbox. He gives me one last look and he's like super sad. He's like... It was really lovely meeting you. And I was like, oh my god, yeah. Thank you so much. I didn't even say anything. I was just like, thank you so much for fixing my dryer. Best dryer repairman I've ever met. I literally said that. I was like, you're the best dryer repairman I've ever met. And then I open the door for him. He leaves, smiles at me, and I close the door, lock it. <laughs> I lock it, I chain the door up, okay? And I go back to my phone. I'm like, yo. And then one of my one of my other besties that I texted finally fucking woke up. They're like, oh, sorry, I was taking a nap. I was like, bro, where the fuck were you, bitch? Like, hello? I needed you. I needed all of you guys. I needed the support. <laughs> and I just needed somebody. You know, I needed something. <coughs> so, did you lock the window? Oh yeah, I fucking locked the windows. I fucking put that like lock on it. I fucking closed the blinds, the, the the window curtains. I locked, you know, I locked everything. I like searched around the dryer in case there's some kind of like, you know, like GPS thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, but like, actually though, you know, obviously I'm like low-key poking fun. But this dude was so genuine, okay? I don't want to say like he was creepy or anything. He wasn't. He was a little bit persistent towards the end. But you know what? He never like disrespected me, you know? If I didn't want to do something, I don't think he would have like forced it upon me. I was, I just honestly, I was just being like that bitch who was like, you know. I'm like, I wanted to be nice, but like in this situation, being nice would have been like being unnice. So, you know, I don't know. It was complicated. Uh, I just didn't know. I don't know how to say no, you know? I'm just like, when I get pressured and like when I feel like I'm back in the corner, even though nobody's really backing me into the corner except for my own neurons, um, I just feel, I just panic. Okay, let me see. Oh shit, the dough rise! Did it rise? I don't know. So yeah, that's my story. Um, so, um, yeah, and Alouette still got game, obviously, chat. So I just want to tell you guys that, um, yeah, it is possible for... So for that guy, for that person who wrote on my wiki page, like, for... Who potentially might not find a part... Like, fuck you, first of all. And number two, um, in your face, I told you... See, like, this happened. I didn't accept God's opportunity. But... But it doesn't take away the fact that the opportunity was presented. So I need that person who's editing all the VTuber wiki pages to change that one line about me. So, yeah. You're welcome. Anyways, guys. I realized and I hit an epiphany that I actually don't really want to date. Um, um, and if I do, I don't want to date a stranger. So, yeah. I don't like sitting outside with the dude I met from, you know, a repair app. And I'm being like... Because, like, I wasn't really myself, you know? He was asking me all these things, and I was like... Oh, yeah, um... You know, I wasn't, like, my gremlin self, and that's why I wasn't really comfortable. And, like, I was like, this dude only likes me because I'm showing him the most say -so side of myself. Um... Yeah, I'm a fucking nasty bitch. I'm mean. I'm ugly inside out. If you flip me inside out, I look exactly the same. Oh my god, I'm so mean to myself. <laughs> um... You know, I'm stupid. I have a bad potty mouth. My fucking voice sounds like... You know, somebody like increased the Go XLR pitch like eight or something, and then you know, put it through a filter. 
And, um, yeah, I just like, you know, you don't know me. And I don't know you, and you need to leave. Even though you're really nice. And maybe when it... Maybe in another parallel universe, if I was raised healthy and my parents actually loved me and never left me, maybe I would be like, oh yeah, oh my god, I would love to hang out, you know, because that's a healthy reaction. But because I'm unhealthy mentally, physically, um, spiritually, and I just feel like every morning I want to die, I was just like, yo, no. Well, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you're right, I need Jesus. <coughs> So I need to go to therapy for sure, a hundred percent. And I think I might need to get like a pet. Because now I'm realizing like if I ever need repairmen in my house, um, and like and they turn out to be like not a nice guy, the opposite of this guy, I need like I need Betsy bite! You know, like a Pokemon or something, like Betsy bite! And then I run out while Betsy's like, you know, fighting the guy and I call 911, you know, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I think the dough has rised. It looks a little bigger, so let's continue. So that was my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was the wildest day of my life. I didn't think that I could ever get that sort of opportunity, opportunity by sitting in my house watching Selling Sunset. And I was eating pretzels. <laughs> okay, I was watching Netflix shows and eating pretzels while this man was working really hard trying to fix my dryer. That's literally what it was. I don't know what the fuck I did. Okay? Um... I guess my 32 out of 10 personality is just too strong. Like, I can't help but, like, naturally riz. I don't know, man. Maybe he looked at my tea and he was just like, Oh my... Oh my god, maybe it was the tea. Maybe I, like, fucking, like, put something in it by accident. And it's like, oh my god, I love you. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah. A 32 out of 10. Yo, guys, I need to, like, upgrade my personality. I feel like after this story, it's not a 32 anymore. It's probably a 42. Sorry, guys. I've leveled up. Chat, I'm leaving y'all behind. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is how it is. I've leveled up. And the Alouette is not 32 out of 10 anymore. It's 42 out of 10. So, um... Yeah, guys. Um, maybe next week I'll get married or something. <laughs> you won't even know. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so... Um... We're on step five. Flatten the dough slightly by pressing with your hands. Create a small indent in the center to add butter and knead the butter into the dough? The fuck? Okay. Alright, guys. Let's, uh, let's go back to our calm hand cam after that story of me rizzing a guy up. I can't believe I actually rizzed someone up. Yo, guys. Damn. What is this superpower that I have no knowledge of? I feel like I have a superpower where, like, if I don't use it, it works. And if I use it, it doesn't work. So it's like a double-edged sword, you know? Oh my god. Maybe, maybe the answer was just being yourself all along. Like, oh my god. What's happening? Yo. Do I have a six-pack? My hair going longer? My lashes getting lushier? My toenails getting like more sparkly? Oh my god! 42 out of 10, guys. Okay. <clears throat> and what does this mean? Flatten the dough slightly by pressing with the hand. Create a small in Okay. Small indent? Okay, is that a small indent? And then put the dough... Oh wait, put the butter and knead the butter into the dough. Oh shit, the butter's like melting. Wait, really? The butter will not mix into the dough right away and you do not have to ensure all the butter stays in place. We are not making layers. I find this makes the dough softer. Oh! Okay. How do you do this? <coughs> okay. Ooh! Interesting. Very interesting. I've never done this before. Isn't this what they do for croissants? Oh my god, it's working! Sort of. Okay. Uh, continue kneading the dough until the butter is absorbed through the dough. The door should be... Something's... Oh shit, something's blocking the text. To the touch and have... Okay, so I just have to continue. Okay. Okay, actually feels pretty good. Like... The dough actually feels like 
really legit good though. It's not even sticking to my um, gloves anymore. And the butter's pretty soft too. Oh shit, it's sticking on the side though. I should probably like an image. Okay, this legit looks really good, guys. Oh my god, I'm so glad that that story... Not only did this man fucking repair my dryer, he also gave me content, um, increased my personality stat, and also he made... This story, because of him, made the dough rise and made my dough, like, much... better. This man has changed my life. And I still don't love him. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with women? <laughs> okay, now there's butter all over my gloves. <clears throat> Wait, how do I do this? Okay, place the dough in a slightly oiled bowl with a moist paper towel atop to what Wait, what? Allow the dough to rest for 30 minutes to an hour in a warm place. Oh, wait, I have to let it rest again? I'm running out of stories. Wait, like, chat, do I have to make it rest again or don't or do I not? Keep doing what you're doing? That made it rest... Okay, maybe I should just let it rest for a little bit. Wait, I feel like the butter's like coming out. Is that supposed to happen? What? Is this kneading? Wait, is this... Wait, does this look right? Am I doing this right? It feels right. It feels so right. Okay, I think this is good. Wait, the butter's still like... God, the butter is melting everywhere! Okay. Um, okay, this is butter by the way, not dough. I'm gonna like incorporate it thoroughly. Thoroughly mixed? Okay, I'm trying! I'm trying, guys! Oh god. You just need to knead it more? Really? It feels like it's not like incorporating. Also, I just wanna say <clears throat> I feel bad for lying. You know, it's not like a complete lie. I did think about moving back with my dad, but like it's probably not gonna be anytime soon. But you know. I feel bad for lying to the dude and also for being nice even though I wanted to not be in contact, but, you know, I was very, like, I'm not very good at situations like this, and I tend to panic, and then I just kind of, like, say shit that comes into my mind so I can run away from the situation as fast as possible, which I think is pretty common amongst people. So, yeah. I wish next time I could handle it better. This is a ball of butter at this point. What like, what's happening? And, um, yeah. Hopefully next time, happen in my house. I think like for the most part it was it was just a little scary because it is in my house. If it was outside, I would have been like, okay. But because this guy was inside already, I was just like, bro, I'm scared. What are you gonna do? But he didn't end up being like mean or bad or anything, so I'm lucky. It could have gone it could have honestly gone very wrong, not gonna lie, okay? Like it could have been super bad, but he wasn't a bad person at all and I'm very grateful for that. So yeah. Okay, I think this is good. Um, place the dough in... Okay. After resting, deflate the dough and cut into four. Okay. This is so sticky. Is this good, chat? Wait, maybe I need to knead it more. Okay, hold on. It's turning kind of sticky. It's going back into the mush state. Beat up the dough? Not enough? Oh, I have to do more? Really? Holy shit. I feel like I have to put more flour. Okay. Chat, why does this take so much work? Well, it's not sticking to my gloves. can do it for a while? Okay. Diego, I was so afraid. I was so afraid of dying. 
I thought he was gonna kill me if I said no. I'm a small little Asian girl. <laughs> All I do for a living is try to make sausage buns. How can anybody get into this situation from this sort of scenario? I just don't understand what I did. I don't understand. If I look back on it, I'm like, shit, shouldn't have offered him tea. Shouldn't have offered the tea. Should've just been like, sorry, bro, only have Britta. I should've just said it. I shouldn't have sounded so, like, happy. I wasn't even actually happy. That's just my polite voice. My customer service voice. Like, oh, yeah. This is how I talk to people if I don't know you and I want people to just think that I'm normal. I go like this. Oh, yeah. Do you like... Would you, would you like some tea? <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't do it unless I'm actually in that situation. I sound so fake. Okay, um... Oh, fuck. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of my life. Guys. Some guys think you're flirting when you're just being nice. I mean, I don't really blame him either, you know, like... You can't really tell sometimes, so I don't think it's his fault. I also don't think it's my fault. I think it's just, you know... You know, it was just a situation. It was very interesting, though. Well, at least he gave me a, a little bit more confidence. Thanks. <laughs> Well, it's either I died or I like lived through it with more confidence and uh, thankfully it was the latter. So yeah, again, I am very privileged and blessed to live another day. <sighs> okay, chat. Is this good? It's like super sticky. Am I supposed to like... Why is the dough reverting? It's because of the butter. More flour? Oh, yeah, I think so, too. It's like a little bit juicy. Okay. Holy motherfucking shit! Oh, this butter's making me... Come on. He got this. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Oh, it's kind of working, actually. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, actually, you know. I think we can get away with this. Is this good? Maybe... Mm, can I add more flour? This looks pretty good. It's not sticking to my gloves, too. Okay, well, it's not sticking a lot. Yeah, it looks better. This dough actually smells pretty good. I'm just gonna like try to get the flowers from the side to be incorporated. So Okay guys, I'm gonna have like a fucking six pack tomorrow. Like, my arms fucking hurt. Like why does this take so much energy? Ugh. I hate baking. I'm so bad at it. And it takes so long. Okay, I think this is good. I don't think we need more flour. It's actually like coming together pretty nicely. I don't even think I need to knead anymore. Yeah. E look. Like that. Can I add just a bit more? It's still a little bit like wet feeling. Just like a little bit more maybe like this much. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, is this called kneading? Is this what it is? Why do I know this movement? Oh, it's probably because like when I was very young, I used to make like gyoza skin with my mom. So all the muscle memory is coming back to me. That's the only thing, that's the only dough that I've ever made as a kid was dumpling skin. <laughs> Honestly, the same thing. Okay, I think it's good, guys. This is all coming together. Okay. <sighs> All right. See, if you look at my gloves, they didn't really stick that much, so I think it's good. Okay. It smells like dough. Okay, so it says place the dough in a slightly oiled bowl. Use a moist paper towel on over top to avoid drying out the syrup. Allow the dough to rest with. The okay. After resting, deflate the dough and cut. Okay. So should I leave it for like maybe? 
10 to 15 minutes? Because we already let it rest. Should I? I kind of let it rest early. It's just like 30 minutes again? That's a lot of resting. It still gets more rest than me. Let it rest again? Okay. I mean, what other stories do you want me to tell? I think that's literally the only thing I remember in this entire week. Everything else, I just was not really that interesting. Okay. Well, I have to put a towel over it. It says moist. I think it's fine. It's already pretty moist. Okay. I'm gonna take off my gloves. By the way, I'm gonna have to like go out later, so hopefully I can get this done before. Maybe 2.30 or something. Okay, so we'll wait for like a couple minutes. Oh my god, I need to like drink water because I was so like... I used all my energy to talk about that one story. <coughs> tea collection? Show us how to make tea? Guys, I can't show you guys how to make tea. Okay. Because after my mistake from two days ago... I've come to realize that if I ever want specifically somebody to like me, I have to save that magic superpower for that person. So, sorry chat, I can't make tea for you guys, you know, because um, if I do, we're going to have another situation, you know? Like, I'm sorry, I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe my tea was literally my best tea. My god, it all makes sense. <laughs> but no, actually though, um, you know, I was just excited because somebody was interested in my tea. And also number two, I have a lot of trouble finishing all the tea that I have. And if you have the tea in your cabinet for too long, like it doesn't really, it's not as fresh anymore. So it's a waste. So, you know, finally there was like a guest coming over. I was like, oh my god, yes, you can do Yes, drink the tea, you know, because, you know, when I first got the tea, I would, like, not want to share it with people because it was so good. And then I realized I couldn't drink all of it by myself. I had too much tea. So I started giving it to my friends, and all my friends were like, oh, okay, thank you. I gave it to my friends, like, on their birthdays, and I was like, here you go, here's a tea pack. And I was like, I'll like, be like, oh my god, this is really good tea. It's from, like, this place, this region. And if, if your dad likes tea, if your mom, like, you know, I was literally, like, gifting to their parents. That's how much tea I have. I'm a tea... I'm a tea dealer. I know. So... So, um, yeah. So I really need to get rid of all my tea. I'm a tea hoarder. Yeah, a little bit. But then I realized that, like, the more I, like, left it there... Because I have tea that's been there from, like, over a year. So it's not as fresh anymore. And then I was like, this is why you need to learn how to share. So now, every time somebody comes over, I'm like, you want tea? And even if they don't want tea, I'll still make them tea. <laughs> I'll be like, um... Yeah, your forehead looks kind of oily. Maybe I can get you some tea for that? <laughs> <coughs> you know, when people come over, I'll just start diagnosing them. Like, you know, BSing diet. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, you're bloated? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get you some tea. You're hungry? I'll get you tea. Oh, you want, like... You, you want a lover? I'll get you some tea for that. I'll show you. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, um... Yeah, I'm totally gonna die alone, guys. I'm sorry. I just realized. I'm like, bro, like, I lost my only chance. Number two, um, and I'm getting old. The only thing I know more, like, I BS the economy. Because I don't know what the fuck I've said. And the only thing I really know how to do is how to be a clown and how to make tea. And that's honestly so, um, useless. Um, and now I'm hitting another epiphany that I probably will die alone. But at least I probably might get a cat or something. Oh my god. This is so sad. What am I doing? Why did I say audio engineering? I don't even mix. Not anymore. That was the only chance God was willing to give you? I know. And a tea matchmaker? Oh, that's so cute! You can be a tea reviewer? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'd be a good reviewer. I did think about like doing a food vlog. But you know, guys, I'm just so vulgar sometimes. I'm very like straightforward. I feel like 
it wouldn't be like... Like, if I say something's bad, I make it sound even worse than it actually is. Because I just... That's just how I do things. That's, I don't know. Maybe... I don't know if this kind of like adopted through my streaming. But, um, I just feel like... Yeah, I'm, like, I'm a too straightforward. Like, if it's good, then I'll make it sound really good. If it's bad, I'll make it sound really bad. You know? Like, if you get... Like, if I went to a restaurant and they gave me, like, shitty beef or something, I'd be like, yo, this beef... Okay, first of all, when I had a bite of this beef, I could tell... Through the... Through all... Through all the neurons in my tongue that this cow had depression. Like, oh my god, the beef bond, the bonds in the beef were so tight. I couldn't break through it, just like how I can't break through, um, my virginity. Um, you know, like, I would say shit like that, you know? And, you know, people who actually want food reviews, they're gonna be like, What the fuck is she saying? So this beef is bad, okay. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna be a good food reviewer, or any reviewer, you know? This cow was fucking sad as fuck. And putting it in my mouth, now I have depression. More than I had before I ate this beef. Do not eat at this restaurant. They will close down because of me. Like, yeah, I can't do that. Because what if they had, like, good chicken, but not beef, you know? Yeah. Girl, stop. The beef is already dead. I mean, it is dead. That's why we're eating it. Sorry, vegans. I'd read those because it's funny as fuck. Yeah, but guys, I wouldn't make money off of it because people would just be like, Oh my god, this is so funny, ha ha ha, and then close the window and then I'm just like, Damn, I'm mean and I'm poor. <laughs> the worst combo ever, being mean and poor. You can get a lot out of life if you're kind and you're, you know, poor, okay? But if you're mean and you're poor, you're fucked, okay? <laughs> like, nobody wants to help you, nobody wants to be your friend, nobody wants to be with you, and you're poor. So you don't even want to be with yourself. Oh my god. The only thing I have in my life right now is Nini Sani. That's so sad. Guys. <laughs> Maybe I will, like... I should call that guy back. Help. I need help. Yeah. I have problem. Plural. I'm kind and poor, so that checks out. I know, it's either you're kind and poor... Or mean and rich. Because that way you can, like... Get away with it, you know? If you're mean and rich, like, if you're mean, like, yeah, okay, nobody's gonna like you, but you have money, so, like, you know, some people will pretend to like you, or, like, think that you're hardworking to some degree, and, you know, but, yeah, like, but if you have, like, the combo of being mean and poor, like, you oh, know, shit, man, you gotta work on yourself, or you gotta, like, steal money. Don't do that, by the way. That's not good. <laughs> not endorsing that at all. Okay, are we done? I'm t I'm hungry. <laughs> this is the longest resting bread of my life. Is it gonna? Is are we? Can we? Is it bigger now? Can we check it? Okay. My gloves. Aren't you super nice to your buddies? Who the fuck said that? Who said I was nice? They're lying. I suck. I hate myself. Okay, I mean... I don't know if that rised or not. I can't tell. But let's just... Should we touch it? Okay, hold uh on. -huh. After resting, deflate the dough and cut it into four to five pieces. Okay. Longer? It needs more time. Oh, it looks so wet. Mm, that's what your mom said last night. I'm just, just kidding. Okay. Where's the sausage? Oh yeah, I have the sausages here. I actually pre-cooked them before the stream. Um, here. These are the- Ooh, it smells good! Ta-da! I tried to get sausages that look like the- the wieners that they sell in the bakery. really yummy. I don't know. I haven't tasted them, but they look yummy. Wait, okay. Since we're waiting, I'm going to... Try to clean up a bit. Also... Damn, 
there's flour all over my desk. I hate it when my desk is so messy. Like my biggest pet peeve. But um... No. Oh my god, there's flour on my microphone too. This always happens. By the way, chat, just letting you guys know, um, I might take a few days off next week because I have to prepare for the convention for Anime UK. Um, next week is the convention, so if any of you guys are going to Anime UK Con, um, I'll be there. But yeah, I'm gonna have to like take those days off. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see everyone and talk to everyone and make everyone know why I exist. And yeah, um, have fun at the convention. Thank you. I'm so excited. Kind of nervous too, but the time for the convention is gonna be like UK time. And if you convert it to like my time, it's gonna be like super early in the morning. So I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. Okay, guys, is this done? Like, I know we only waited two minutes, but I'm hung. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Maybe we can read some super chats while we're waiting. That's how you know I'm. Um, tired because I start trying to end the stream. Oh. oh my god, there's like fucking flour all over my hands, flour in my hair, flour. There's, I think there's flour on my face. How did it get on my face? Gosh. Okay. Like, how much longer do we need to... We have to put in the oven, too? <laughs> making bread takes so much time. Does making bread take this much time? That is a lot of time. Three hours? To make bread? I'm never gonna make fun of people who make bread ever again. It does take time. This is why I just buy mine, true. But like, it actually smells so good. It's, I feel like because we use cake flour, it's gonna be really like fluffy. I love fluffy bread. It's so good. One time I ate so much fluffy bread that I got constipated. <laughs> like I ate so much. I ate like a loaf. It was like this much. It was terrible. My dad thought I was the dumbest kid alive. He was like, you ate all of that? And I'm like, mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, no wonder you're having tr trouble pooping. I was like, oh, okay. I don't know that. How much? It was like literally like a loaf. It was like this big. And then I would like cut it into slices. And then I just eat that. Like I didn't even eat the bread with anything. I was just eating bread. That's how good the bread was. And then I couldn't fucking go to the bathroom. You ate all that? Yeah, yeah, I did. This was like very long ago. Um, yeah, and I told my dad my stomach was hurting so much. And my dad was like, what did you eat? I was like, bread? He's like, how much did you eat? And I was like, the whole loaf? And he's like... He looked at me like I really should have just understood what the fuck I did. And I was like, what? He's like, if you eat too much bread, you're gonna get, like, constipation. And I was like, oh. Wow. Oh. I don't know that. Well, now I know. Okay, is it done? Is this bigger? It looks bigger. Actually, no, it doesn't. It looks the same. Can, we already made it rise for like a good 40 minutes before when I was talking about my story. Can we... Can we wait now? I mean, can we cook it now? Okay, let's read some super chats. <clears throat> let's do some super chats and then wait for the bread to... Rise. The thing is, you weren't supposed to let it rise earlier. Okay, but the chat literally everybody was like, Make it rise, put the towel... And Diego also said, like, you know, we we'll just blame Diego. <laughs> if I hug it, will it like... Okay, I'm gonna keep it warm, okay? I'm gonna hug it like this. Where, where's my super... Where's it? Okay. Okay, so first soup of today, Chiliax. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And Tan, y'all. Thank you so much for that soup. Thank you, thank you. I feel like I'm holding a baby. I got my baby bread. This is the most bread I've ever had, like, in front of me. Um... Majin D, thank you so much for the super. Thank you, thank you. Shout out Demon Lord, thank you so much for the super. Thank you, thank you. That dough should have been me. Look, I know you weren't held as a child by your mother, but that doesn't mean that, like, other women, lovely 42 out of 10 personality women have to hold you too, okay? So, let's, let's all chill. Pinkerton, thank you so much for the super. Thank you, thank you. 
Dev Sleeps, thank you so much for the super. Hi, Anna. It's been a year since I started watching Niji EN. Thank you for making my year lots of fun. If it wasn't for you and Etheria, I would miss out on this fun. P.S. I got birthday merch pics to send. Thank you so much for the support! Thank you, thank you. Yeah, guys, we're like... Approaching our third year. That's insane. I sometimes look back on... My life? I don't know. And I feel like I just debuted yesterday. We're getting like... I can't believe... It's almost been three years. Guys! Oh my god! I'm... <laughs> I'm so sad. Every time we like approach our anniversary, I get really sad because it's like, how much longer am I gonna be here? Like, how much longer do I have to wait for this breath to rise? <laughs> Isn't it just two years? What do you mean? Isn't it three? Oh shit, you're right. It's two years. Okay, my head's a little bit like, oh, you're right. Yeah. No, it's because I was thinking about like my birthday. You haven't celebrated your second... Okay, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I'm a little... Yeah, sorry, guys. The truth is, I just want to graduate tomorrow. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah. But yeah, still. <coughs> you know? I just think time goes so fast. It's like yesterday that I pretended that, that I liked Minecraft. Um, Udon Mian, thank you so much for the hot dog sticker. Thank you, thank you. Miguel, thank you so much for the supas. And I went to the... I went to watch the Spider-Verse movie. It was bonkers. I almost cried at the beginning. I gotta say, it was a bit weird hearing my name. I also want to be the first to say congrats on 600k. You know how you got here? Because you're hardworking, funny, full of personality. <laughs> okay, guys. I already got enough Riz. I got Rizzed up pretty... Pretty a lot this week. So I feel like I need to be humbled, okay? Don't compliment me for the rest of this week, guys. Okay, I got... I already got my... Like, monthly dose of compliments from that one dude. In short, you're amazing. Thank you so much, Miguel. Yeah, I watched some Spider-Verse with Millie. And... Oh my god, this movie is amazing. Please don't spoil, by the way, because it is a new movie. Um, I'm just gonna say, like, if you haven't watched it... And you haven't watched the first one... Watch the first one first. And then watch the second one that just came out. Um, it was super duper amazing animation, songs... Just everything, guys. Please watch it. It's so good. Also, um... Yeah, if you are sensitive to, like, colors and lights, you just, you just know that it, there's a little bit of, like, flashing. Welcome, man! Thank you so much for the five gifted! Thank you, thank you! What do we do for 60k, Anna? I don't know what we did for 60k. That was, like, two years ago. Can't remember. Unless you meant 600. I don't know. What should we do for 600k? Can I... Uh, can I just... Can I take three weeks off? Just kidding. Um... I don't know. Like, what do you guys want me to do so bad that I haven't really already... I like... I've gotten to the point that I've literally done everything. I've broken the meta. I've broken the walls. You know? Divorce stream. That's gonna take a lot of time. Feed cam. I'm just gonna let you guys write... Okay, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. I will never do a feed cam. Okay? I don't care if I'm still a virgin by the age of 63. I will not do a feed cam. Okay? I will never do it. I don't care if I'm graduating tomorrow, in a year, next month, next week, or tomorrow. <laughs> I will not do a feed cam. Okay? I'm sorry. Um, I like how somebody in the stream said RIP IPN. Yeah. Sorry, IPN. No feet cam. Um, but you don't need one anyways because, um, yeah, you keep holding on to that docky. Um, I don't know what to do. Popcorn Valorant? So you guys want me to throw up on stream? Make cookies baking stream? I've kind of already done that. Oh no. League? I can do League. You know what? I'll... I'll think of something. I don't really know. I don't want to play Outlast because I said I would... Okay, look. I said I would play Outlast at 1 million, okay? So I still have time. Okay? I said what I said, okay? If we ever do achieve 1 million, I will play Outlast by myself. But... We have not gotten to 1 million yet, so you can't ask me to play Outlast. Drunk League? Oh my god, you want me to play League drunk? <laughs> Wait... That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> but also, probably just because I just want to play League. 
Anyways, we'll think about it. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Nicola, Chiara, thank you so much for the soup. I can't wait for the lovely food. Me too. It's taking 500 years. Uh, Wu Dongmian, thank you again for the hot dog sticker. And Brownie, thank you again for the pink soup. And maybe next time when I increase my baking levels, I'll try, like, you know, turning the sausage buns into pretzel dogs. That just sounds so much harder. And also, I just don't have baking soda. Um, are you hugging the bowl? Yeah, I'm hugging the bowl so that it keeps warm because you guys keep saying that, like, it needs to be warm or something. So I'm hugging it. Okay? I don't know if that works. I feel like human body warmth does work, though. Um... Anon, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, nice nice and place you got there. Can't wait for more Alupeep cookbook streams. Yeah, I was kind of looking through it and, like, some of them are kind of, like, hard to find ingredients for. So this one was like the simplest one in terms of like finding ingredients. But if I ever go to like other supermarkets outside of my area, I'll like keep in mind of looking for certain ingredients. Cause I do wanna like um I do want to make a lot of the recipes from the Alu Peep cookbooks. So yeah, it's really I really want to print it out too and make it into an actual book. Uh, Udomian, thank you so much for the heart sticker. Thank you, thank you. Pinkerton, thank you so much for the soup. A kitchen scale funds investing in future sanity. Guys, I just... I don't bake a lot, so I don't feel like I need a scale. But... I'll think about it. I will... I will... Maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll look into it. Um, Majin D, thank you so much for the soup. AVL, thank you so much for the soup. Congrats, almost 600k, my favorite bird. Hope this milestone helps you be a little less depressed. JK, love you, Anna. I feel like it makes me more depressed knowing that, like, I'm gonna be reaching 1 million and playing Outlast by myself. Um, but I feel like at least I kind of got to prepare for it with Outlast Trials. Yeah. But thank you so much, guys! I, and honestly, on a serious note, thank you guys so much for the support over the almost two years that I've been here. It's been a real privilege, you know? I fucked up many times, but you guys still here. Probably most of you guys watch, are watching me just to, you know, wait for me to fuck up even more. But, you know, I still appreciate, you know, you guys watching me. Even if the intent it might be good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, I have a lot of fun every day. You know, except for waiting for this bread to rise. You know, this is a little boring, but yeah. Um, yeah, thanks guys. I really enjoy being in Nijisanji. To the point where I would like reject like a wonderful, lovely man who wants to get to know me better. So yeah, you guys. Okay, if you think about it, guys, like, oh my god, I put my entire soul into this job, guys. To the point where like I have rejected a date. Wow. <sighs> How times have changed. <clears throat> Hudson, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I just want to say, though, it doesn't mean I love you guys romantically, okay? This is a platonic relationship, okay? Don't blame it on us. I'm not blaming, I'm just saying. Not blaming. Okay! Oh my gosh, L5 Guardian, thank you so much for the Akasupa. I'm so sorry I missed it. Oh my god. There won't be any misshapes, any fires, or dough monsters created, right? Everything will be fine. Probably. Praying now. Thank you for your prayer and for your Akasupa. Hopefully this turns out good. I'm gonna give it to some friends afterwards, so... Well, I'm gonna try it out first. Um... Oh so yeah. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Bajing Di and Udomian, thank you guys so much for the... For the... Sticker, the AFK stickers. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Nicola, thank you so much for the Oshi tax. Thank you, thank you. And the bomb is here. Thank you so much for the super. She can cook, sing, clean, is responsible, funny, multilingual. Okay, let's not like stretch this out, okay? I can barely speak Chinese and I can't really speak Japanese. Cute and so much more. Also, I can cook, but only person that eats it is me. So you guys don't really know if it tastes good. Um, um, singing, you know, honestly, I just, I put all my stats in singing and I can't do anything else. Cleaning, yeah, cleaning, I just, I have stress and I have some sort of weird, like, hygiene thing. Um, and funniness is just come, the funny part just comes from trauma. So it's like a double-edged sword, okay? It's not like I'm just funny. I'm funny, but then also I'm traumatized. And so, like, when I'm not funny, I'm pretty depressing. So, guys, I'm just letting you know, know the truth, okay? I'm not that cool. 
Um, jokes aside, glad to have your hand cams back. Gordana Ramzet always comes in clutch. Thank you. I believe in Gordana Ramzet. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Akumagawa, thank you so much for that. Super, 300 more to go before 600k subs. How are you guys keeping track of this? Like, how do you know? I don't even know how much more I need to get before we reach it. Like, how do you... Do you have, like, a countdown or something? Like, what's going on? Also, guys, I don't even know where the countdown for, like, subs are. Like, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Social Blade, we have an app. You guys have an app for me? Thanks, guys. Thanks for checking my analytics all the time. Because I never do. <laughs> I just... Honestly, I just make sure that I have enough money at the... You know, at the end of every month and calculate my bills and rent. And if I can pay it off, I'm like, okay, we did it, guys. Another month where I get to live underneath my roof. That's about it. Um, Pinkerton, thank you so much for the AFK sticker. Viola, the, the purple cat, thank you so much for the supa. Tekshan, thank you so much for the supa. Time flows once more. Is Wish of the Songbird ever going to be on music platforms? Okay, there's a problem with that one, so I'm trying to like figure it out. There's this guy literally who comments like almost every day on Wish of the Songbird, my first original when I debuted. They literally go like day 16 of asking Enna to put the song on Spotify. I'm like, I'm literally, I'm, I promise you guys, I'm working on it. There's just, there's a little bit of an obstacle, okay? But please keep doing it. It's so funny. There's also. Like some other people who are doing it too, but that guy just kind of does it like almost every other day, and I think it's so fucking funny. Um, Udon Mian, thank you so much for the super. Pinkerton, thank you so much for the super. And a brand tea one. Honestly, if I can make my own tea, guys, if I ever can make my own tea, which I think would be so hard because I like like natural loose leaf teas. Um, but if that ever happens, oh my god, I'd be really happy. And honestly, that would be my retirement wish. Like, I'll retire after that. Uh, okay guys, is the bread ready? Can I take a peek? Oh, okay, it's definitely doubled in size. Okay, this is good. Yo, guys, it's ready. This is, it's, this is significantly bigger. We're done, okay. We'll continue the super chats in a bit. Okay, now it smells like dough. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. Like, if I can tell that it's bigger, then that's bigger. After resting, this okay. Cut to four to five pieces. Okay. Come on. Let me make some space. And, uh, okay. Let me cut this. Okay. Hey, guys. Perfect. 45? No, no, no. 4 to 5. 4 to 5 pieces per your preferences and roll each piece into a long strip. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. I can't believe this is kind of low-key working out for- Oh my god, it's so fluffy! Oh my gosh, it feels completely different! Yo, this is gonna taste great! Please don't jinx it. Okay, where's my knife? Pieces. A lot more dough than I thought. Okay, let's um, let's knead it a bit more. Okay, let's make it into like a like a ball. The power of hugging. This looks like like old lady neck wrinkles. Okay, um, so four to five pieces. Let's do this. It's gonna work. So that's two pieces. Okay. Now we're gonna cut this in half. Okay. This is a lot of dough. You can probably make six. Yeah, I feel like that too. A lot of dough. Is this too big, chat? Or should I... This one looks a little bigger. I might cut this one in half. It's 
way too big. Yeah, I feel like that too. Maybe I'll cut like... I'll cut... Okay. Since I've like watched bread tutorials and they usually have it pretty small because in the oven they like rise like crazy. Um, so I think... Uh... How do I like divide this evenly? Okay, hold on. Let me take a bit of this and add it into here. Yeah. One, two, okay, these two, I can like cut like one third off from each and then add it into each other. I'm a mathematician, I'm a wizard! Okay. Is this good, chat? Is this like pretty much the same size amongst all of them? Is this good? Wait, can you guys see? Here. Close enough? Yeah! Okay. I feel like that's pretty good, no? Yeah? Should be about right, yeah? Okay. I mean, I could take a little bit off here. Maybe put it in here. Okay. Maybe... Some in here. Okay. I'm trying to... I'm gonna make it into like... So it says... Roll each piece into a long strip. I don't know what that means. Starting at one end of the sausage... Wait, my mouse is blocking. Gently wrap the dough around a along the sausage... Uh, okay, let's do... Okay, let's do this first. Knead it a bit? Yeah, I feel like I do need to like... Knead it a bit. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's do each one individually. Like, it's not sticking to my gloves, at least. Okay. That looks good. Do I need more flour? I feel like it's really, like, wet. It's not super wet, but it's like... Can you guys see the consistency? It's, like, very stretchy. Maybe I'll just add, like, a tiny bit. Like, just a tiny bit for each one. Like, this much. Oh, okay, that was not... That's, okay. Well, I'm just gonna spread that flour everywhere, okay? I need to make it not stick as much. Okay. Okay! So, roll it into, like, long pieces. Okay, we'll do this too. Okay. Knead it. I look like a professional bread maker. Guys, look at look at the way my You guys know Pavarotti? My mom loves Pavarotti. Legendary opera singer. I don't know what language they sing in, but I like the song. Also, also, I heard that if you sing while cooking, it makes the food taste better. Probably because you're in a better mood, so you don't fuck up as much, you know? Okay, guys. I don't know if this is... Is this long enough? I don't know. I think I'm better at, like, reshaping if I had the actual sauce. Just don't spit on the food. It's all gonna be in the oven anyways. Also, my spit's probably really, like, clean because I brush my teeth and floss every day, so... And I'm not sick, and I drink a lot of tea, and... Yeah. I put wasabi in one of them and give it to my friends. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have wasabi. A little bit. The butter makes it so, like... Ooh, I've never like touched dough that this nice, you know? It feels really nice. It doesn't stick to your gloves and it's like it it smells pretty good and I don't know, I feel like I have a good feeling about this. Please don't jinx it, God. I know I I know I know that I have fucked up on an opportunity, but this is different. This is this is yeah. I'm kneading it in my hand by the way if you don't know what I'm doing. This one's a little bit more sticky than the rest. More. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. So, I know all of these right now look like poo-poo sticks, but... Okay. So, it says, starting at one end of the sausage, so we have to get... Okay, I have to preheat... Okay, let me preheat the oven first. So then I can, like... But then we don't have to wait. So, preheat the oven to 375 Fahrenheit or 190C. Okay, guys, I'll be back. One second. Okay, I preheated the oven and I realized I didn't have any baking sheets. So I used the wonton sheets for steaming and I think that should be fine. You know. Right? Right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's get the sausages. Bug! Yo! Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh shit! What the fuck did you get in here? Hold on, I have to take out my gloves. Where is it? Oh shit, it went away! Oh my god! Bro! Free protein. Oh, it's because I had the window open last night. Wait, it's gone! I don't know where it is. Okay, if I see it, I'll like catch it with my bare hands. It's okay, it didn't like touch the food, it just like flew across. It literally flew across underneath the camera too. Did it? I don't know. Yeah, it's summer, so like tiny, tiny bugs come in. It wasn't a big one, it's like a really small one. Okay. Okay, so I got the sausage. You got the dough around on the sausage. I want to get a lot of this. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, so let's do it. Okay, so... I guess you do this? I mean, I know what it's supposed to look like. Oh, shit. Do I have enough dough? Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Oh, actually, it's looking quite good.
Okay, like this, right? Come on. Arrive, right? So, okay. Okay. Cat, stop making penis jokes, okay? I know, like, nobody would ever... For those of you guys who have, like, penises, let me just tell you one thing. First of all, if you think this is, like, fucking... If this is what you want, then you're on the wrong website, okay? If you want it, if you want this, there's literally websites that cater to this sort of thing. I'm fucking making sausage buns, okay? I'm not fucking touching your dick. Okay, stop touching your own dick, first of all, okay? This is not the right community, okay? We do not cater to that sort of behavior, okay? Get your head out of the gutter, and uh, maybe if you do, somebody might actually touch your dick one day, just like this, so like, you know? So, yeah, keep dreaming, and dream bigger, okay? Stop. Well, I'm gonna start role-playing grandma, okay? And if you guys are into that, well, shit. <laughs> I, don't know what to, I don't know how else to help you guys. <laughs> Okay, so stop being weird and let me do what I need to do. It's harder than it looks, the fuck? It's like I'm trying to like spread the dough evenly on the sausages. I know you're supposed to be baking, not roasting. Well, like I said, I'm not good at ro- I mean, I'm not good at baking. But I know how to pan fry, everybody, okay? I'm not a baker, but I can cook. Okay, this one seemed better. I feel like this one I need to work on more. Okay, let me just do this. Okay. Yeah, this one I think I have to move down just a bit. so good, I can smell the sausages. Okay, well, this... Okay. Oh my god. How do I make sure that everything's more evenly lost? Okay! I know they don't look, like, perfect, but I tried, you know? It's harder than it looks. Looks pretty decent. Okay, I hope so. I really hope this turns out well, because I wanted to, like... I wanted to, like... Um, give some to friends and family, and I told people that I would be like bringing them like sausage buns, and they're like, "Oh my god, really?" And I'm like, "Uh huh." So if they don't like turn out good, I might just buy sausage buns and be like, "Here you go." <laughs> yeah, I I made this. Yeah, uh -huh. They don't watch my streams. They don't know. They don't know my story. Yeah. So let's all pray. Okay, guys, I really need you to pray with me. That this works. I'm kind of like impressed that like the dough expand expands this much. Shit, some of the sausages are like dripping. What? Why? Oh shit. Because I cooked it. I thought I had I I low-key didn't read the recipe beforehand, so I thought I had to cook it first. Cause shit, I fucked up on this one. Hold on. Oh shit, hold on. I fucked up on this one. So in my head, I was like, oh yeah, just cook it first. They're gonna be cooked in the oven. Whoops. But I didn't like cook it long. It's fine. Okay, this one I fucked up a little bit, but I think it's okay. Hopefully by the time this is finished, the oven's preheated. Guys, I low-key don't really know when the oven is done preheating. I don't really know how you can tell, but I feel like if you just wait like five minutes, it should be good, right? Right? Put your love on it. Gonna taste good. Yo, don't say shit like that because we got... I know there's some people in the chat who are probably stopped typing and they're doing some other activity, you know, like... You know, don't, don't say shit like that. Don't enable it, okay? Even if that's not what you mean. 
fucking internet, man. I swear to God. The internet sucks. I know exactly how the internet works, and I hate it. Can't stop them, but at least you can call them out. Okay. Remember to let it rest? Oh, how much more <laughs> rest? Okay, this bread rests longer than, like, my grandmother's death. Like, come on, guys. Like, this is way too long. This is resting for too long. Like, bro. Holy shit. We've rested way too much. Like, what does resting dough even do? Just make it bigger? Like, actually, though, like, what does resting dough do? And why do we have to do it, like, three times? Makes it bigger? Allows it to get fluffier? Really? Doesn't it just get fluffier in the oven? Makes it fluffy? What if it gets too fluffy? Can Is that possible? Can you get too fluffy? Okay, whoops. I tried to like ratio, like spread out the dough, but. Why is this so hard? It looks so easy when other people do it. Okay. Okay! We did it, chat. Okay, now I'm gonna let it rest for like another century. Okay, chat. Maybe I should use tin foil. Because it's, the dough is really sticky, so. So these are our wiener breads pre-cooked before they're cooked. Okay. I'll take my gloves off. Okay. Surprised the butter hasn't melted yet? <laughs> Wait! What do we do with the egg? Wait, what? Wait, what do we do with the egg? Wait, we didn't like forget the egg, right? Wait, what? Oh, there's to create the egg wash. Beat one egg with Oh, okay, okay, it's just egg wash. Oh my god, I like scared the shit out. I was like, no way, I followed the steps like accordingly. Okay, so after we bake it. In the oven, to create the egg wash, beat one egg with a little bit of water. Once the dough is rested... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, you do that before you put it in. Okay. Oh, I see. That's how they make it look golden. Okay. Using a cooking brush or finger? What the fuck is a cooking brush? Gently apply the wash over top of each bun. Sesame seeds can be added on top after plant. Okay, so... Oh, okay, it's for decoration. Okay. Oh my god, I scared myself. Okay. Alright then. Um, I guess we could like beat the egg now. I need to wear gloves again. I, I thought I missed putting the egg in. I was like, already fucked up. Okay. There we go. That there. I'm just gonna beat it with a knife because. The only thing I have right now. Be one egg with a little bit of water. Okay. Um, with a little bit of water. But okay. Uh, well, I, I mean, I guess I have water. Wait, hold on. Here we go. A little bit of water. Got it. Isn't it just the yolk? It didn't say. It just says to create the wash, beat one egg. That's all. I'm fi I'm I'm following the instruction. Okay. Oh, we have to put a towel over the It's like, 
They get more love and comfort than me. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, we gotta wait for this thing to... Rise up. For the 500th time. Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> Since we're taking a break. How I muted and then I was like, I'll be right back, chat. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go pee. Okay, wash my hands. Uh put away some of the stuff, okay? Then I'm gonna change to the foil in the oven because I realized the dough is really sticky. Okay? And then and then hopefully by then this bread will get even fluffier. You, you know, I don't know. Okay, everybody. Um, I realized when I went to the bathroom that I wore my apron inside out. So now the inside of my apron is dirty. So now I'm gonna put it in the wash. Oh yeah. Okay, is the bread? 
<laughs> the bread rise yet? <clears throat> Was that enough time? Was that five minutes? I don't know. How long are we supposed to wait? Um... Oh wait, we're supposed to let it rest for twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, we can finish the super chats then. Cause then we have super chats. You didn't take your apron out when you visited the bathroom? No. Well, it's cold. I take it off. Okay. Go. And Tanya, thank you so much for the soup. Thank you, thank you. You want the sausages and egg to rest peacefully? It's clear you must sing it a lullaby. Uh, Book of Nahil, thank you so much for the soup. I feel like at this point it's rested so much. Okay, we'll read a couple of super chats and then. Yeah, and then we'll 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 um we'll check it out. I don't think we need it to rise anymore. I feel like it's good. But we'll see. Um Charles Boo, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, the worst she can say is no. Anna literally planning to hit the guy with a hammer. No, 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 no. Don't twist my words. Okay, first of all, in my head, I was just thinking of the worst case scenario, okay? Like, I'm so used to misfortune. That I feel like even though something good is happening, something bad will happen right after. So in my head, like, this is what trauma is called. First of all, this is what trauma is called, okay? So, that's why I needed to think, like, of my options, okay? It's not like I was planning to. Just in case, I just needed to remind myself where the hammer was. Okay? That's it. And I was wrong. I checked the corner of the cabinet and it wasn't there anyway. So even if I was gonna use it, I was gonna die anyways. Because it's not there. I checked afterwards. It's actually in my toolbox. Whoops. Isaac Carter, thank you so much for the super. Thank you, thank you. Zero Rush, thank you so much for the super. My Oshi gets to go on a date and she blows it. Yo. You guys wanna have some of these or not? Stop making me feel bad. I genuinely feel bad. At the same time, I'm like, bro, there is something wrong with me. Um, a pickled cucumber. Thank you so much for the soup. Anna spills spaghetti for almost an hour. What do you mean? What does that mean? What does spaghetti mean? In the context of slang. You probably dodged a bullet. Um, I don't know. We'll never know. And TBH, I don't... I don't mind. Sometimes you guys really gotta like tell me the, the slangs of stuff. Okay. Venomous Agent, thank you so much for the super fumbling. This was a canon event, and you saved the Eniverse timeline. Honestly though, yo, after Spider-Verse, I feel like, you know, I feel like all of our parallel universes are in somewhat like intertwined with each other. So maybe because I rejected this dude, um, Another Anna in another parallel universe, like, I probably saved her marriage. Like, I swear to god. Like, because in another universe... Like... I don't know how this works. Honestly, I don't know. Somebody make up a fanfic or something, but like, I'm sure I... This ripple effect probably caused something good for another Anna, and that Anna's thanking me right now. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome, Anna. I got you, bestie. And I feel like because of that, like, maybe in the future, like... Yeah, maybe in the future, the next person who comes into my house will actually recognize um, Niji Sanji and also actually appreciate the tea that I have and that will be even better, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> well, you're welcome, Anna, in the parallel universe. Uh, this, this one's for you. NPC number three! Number 33, thank you so much for the super. I bet you would have liked him better if he didn't insult your tea. Oh my god, that's literally what I just said. No, um... Yeah. Loki, I'm kind of embarrassed to talk about it because it's like, oh my god, I actually like got like somebody like who like considered me. But also at the same time, it's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a VTuber. I should have just said I was a VTuber. Then he would be like, oh shit, fuck. Oh, sorry. I can't fix your dryer today. I gotta go. Uh, Philip Fua, thank you so much for the super. Loki, he should have said as friends first. It's kind of weird he wants to start off something more than friends. 
Well, you know, everybody has their own way of risen, so you can't really like pick on someone else, you know. I feel like he said what he said. I feel like he made his intentions clear and I appreciated that. So, like, you know, because it's... Like, you could say that you wanted to start off as friends, but like, the real intent behind that is to be more than that. So I think he was just being more honest, which I think is fine. And I appreciate that, you know, because then I know what I'm getting into. Because if he said like... If he said like, um... He said like, oh, do you want to hang out as friends? I probably might have said yes. I was like, oh my god, I made a friend! You know, but then I wouldn't know the intent behind it. Because I'm really fucking stupid, chat. I didn't realize this. Okay, I knew this before, like the day I was born. But I didn't know how stupid I was. I just can't believe I missed all of that. And then up until the very end, I was like, oh shit. Like, oh my god, I'm so dumb. Like, how... How long have I been kept within the shelter of my own mind? Like, what's happening? I really need to like... Cat, like, take these hints. I'm so bad at it. I didn't think that I was that bad. But I am. And it's so sad. <laughs> um, D, best weapon. Thank you so much for the super. Never serve tea ever again. Yeah, you're right though. I will only serve tea to people I love. Like my family and my friends. And... Yeah, and myself. Because I love myself. And... It's okay, Anna. I'll hold your hand. It's okay, I'll hold my old hand. Luke D, thank you so much for the super. Dude was rizzed by Anne. No, man. Dude was rizzed by Anna. Okay, I was not... I was not putting on this sort of voice. Okay, I was using my derpy voice like this. Like, hi. Um, I, at one point, I literally was like, um, is the dryer done? <laughs> like, I asked him if he was finished. Because I wanted him to leave. And I think he felt that, and then I immediately felt bad. So, yeah. Maru Maru, thank you so much for the super. You're the Riz God for real, for real. I know! My god, Luca needs to like get me back on that dating show. Like, but like as a Rizzer, not as the Bachelorette. Like, my god. I need to show you guys how to do it. Um. Nebulous Vibes, thank you so much for the super. Here's my contribution to the Enna Alouette Therapy Fund. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I will definitely use it for my therapy. And yeah, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Mm, Shin Solaire, thank you so much for the super. Not gonna lie, hearing you trauma dump about being rizzed is funny. Okay, Shin. I hope you have a great life too. Thank you very much. The Lord Jesse, thank you so much for the super. Sorry I doubted your riz. You know what? This is the one thing that came out of it is I can finally give you guys some concrete proof on my 32 out of 10 personality and rizzing. Like, nobody believed me for some reason. Um, And Luca even put me on like cringe or something on his tier list and I you know I I've only ever been telling you guys the truth. So yeah. Um the bomb is here. Thank you so much for the super and a marriage fund. Don't self-sabotage. Believe in love. I do believe in love. But I do also realize I self-sabotage. But only because only because I know I'm not ready. So yeah. I think at least I'm self-aware in that aspect and that's good. You know? What if I did go on a date with this dude and I literally just trauma him? I'll be like, so um, when I was young, my mom like did this, and then I grew up thinking that this was normal, and then a couple years later, I lived with someone else who was like, and that's why it's like this, you know? And then now I'm like, he's gonna sit there and be like, shit, I will never date anybody who watches anime and manga ever again. So like honestly, guys, I'm doing something good for the anime and otaku community. Okay, I'm representing a healthy version of us. Even though the majority of us probably just stay home, watch anime, cry about the fact that life does not match the stories in anime, and yeah. Uh, Majin D, thank you so much for the soup. A 42 out of 10 beautiful teen nerd who wouldn't fall in love with Enna. What? I thought that's me. I'm the 42 out of 10 beautiful teen nerd. Who, who are you? Who are you, who are you referring to? It's, it's literally just me. Would I fall in love with myself? I don't think so. I like super hate myself. <laughs> okay, I don't super hate myself. Okay, the thing is, is like I say that I hate myself and it's low-key kind of true, but that at the same time when I look at other people's lifestyles, I'm like, damn, you really hate yourself. Because like, at least I shower every day, take care of myself, eat properly, you know, and then I see other people and they just don't do that and I'm just like, wow, I mean, I don't know like how much more you hate yourself than I hate myself, but like, you're not doing that well. 
you know? So, I feel like I probably love myself to a certain degree. Or maybe I just have, like, the sense of responsibility that my mom has, like, instilled into my fucking genes. But, yeah. Um, uh, Toasty Alubi, thank you so much for the super. Anna talking about tea is so adorable. She pe- She- People instantly fall in love. I mean... Maybe the guy just... Maybe just... What? Guys, why did you think... Why do you guys think that it's the tea? What if it's the fact that I'm beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> no, let me say it again. Without laughing. What if he literally just fell in love the moment I opened the door? Why does it have to be the tea? Why do you guys think that because I started explaining about the tea... That's when he was like, Oh my god, this girl is so pretty. What if he just thought I was like... Fucking hot. The moment I open the door. Did you guys ever even think about that? Why do you guys assume that it's not that? Hmm? I'm certain it was the T. <laughs> Had to be the T. T is powerful. Guys. I'm just gonna say... My dad says... In his own words... You're pretty in your own way. You're not gorgeous, but you're pretty in your own... Like, that's what he said. Like, exactly what he said in Mandarin. So... Just put it... Just putting it out there. Why are you guys saying ouch? That's not even... That's not bad. Wait, is that bad? That's so mean. That's not mean! Wait, is he being mean? I thought he was just being honest. That just means you aren't horrendously ugly. Okay, guys. Okay. Um, look. I already got my confidence lifted to 42. Let's not take it back down, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Let's let's move on. Okay, God. First of all, I just want to say before I end this topic, by the end, when we all reach the age of 60, okay, the only thing that counts is your personality and how well you, like, you know, in your lifestyle. So if you're eating well, pooping well, and, like, sleeping well, you're gonna look good at 60. So when all of y'all fucking McDonald junk eaters, like, you know, get to 60 and you all start sagging and your fucking neck wrinkles look like this. Oh my god, they're so much bigger! Oh my lord. When, you, you know, I'm gonna be like this smooth dough. I see, you know, like, I don't know, like, look, look how smooth this is. Like, like this smooth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna look like that. So, um, fuck all of you. And... When you're all dead, and I visit all of the graves of the Alu Peef, I'm, I'm just gonna pee all on you guys. I'm gonna be peeing on your grave and being like, <laughs> you know, remember that time I made sausage bread and you guys kept making dick jokes? Well, here you go. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let's just continue. I'm tired, guys. I don't. I'm tired. Yesterday I went out, the day before I got rizzed, and I was risen. I like lost all of my. I lost part of my soul. Okay, so we need to like egg wash this thing. It says you can use your hand. Oh, maybe I can just do this. Can just do this. Right? Use this. Okay. Um, just, just use the back of the spoon as like a brush. I don't know. Like painting. La 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 la. Is that how you do it? Is it like that, chat? That will do? Yeah, okay. It's just the top, right? Okay. Golden brown. Or golden. I hope this actually turns out well. I'm kind of excited. And also, I bought these really good wieners. They were kind of expensive, so... Yeah. I hope... I hope it tastes good. If they don't taste good, I'm just gonna eat the wiener. Is this too much? I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on it. Don't A-yo, man. Cat, you guys need to touch grass. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god, I accidentally poured the entire thing! Oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, 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 hold on, don't panic. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. I'm just gonna put some sesame, okay, no, no, no. okay, is that too much? I don't know, just, okay, I'm just gonna put it in the oven, guys. I'm just gonna bring this over. Oh shit, that's too much, okay. Oh shit, it got all over my fucking table. Okay, okay, I hate this. Oh no, it's going on the floor. Oh my god, this is why I don't like doing hand cams on my desk. Just like, okay guys, I'm gonna take this into the oven and hopefully the yolk doesn't like... Okay, one second, I'll be back. So this is what it looks like. I accidentally spilled some yolk. Okay, not gonna lie, the sausage buns look really good. Like, do you guys want me to take a picture of what it looks like in the oven? It looks so good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh my god, my desk is so messy. It bothers me so much. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Hold on. Oh my gosh. This might be my new... <laughs> I've always wanted to open a bakery. Uh, I, 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 love, I love the smell of bakery and... You know, like those Asian bakeries? Like, I love that smell. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go take a picture and I'll send it to myself and then put it on stream. Okay, guys, I posted it on Twitter. So you guys could take a look on there. I wrote the caption, waiting to be rizzed up, because I feel like this entire stream, we're talking about, you know, rizzing and stuff, so it correlates to, you know, the, the recipe. Yeah, let me, let me, um, okay. Hold on, my gloves are really dirty, so I don't want to touch my mouse. So I'm gonna turn off the webcam for now. Okay. I'll post a picture of it.
じです。うーん。ペース。ケー。セーフ。うーん。タイトル。Okay. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like for those of you who don't use Twitter. Good for you. So they're in the oven. Oh, I have to check how long I have to put them in for. Whoops. So these babies are in the oven right now. And they're looking pretty good. Might not look like super beautiful. Ta da! This is what it looks like right now in the oven. The bread has the rise. But yeah! It looks pretty good! No? Don't forget the timer. Oh shit, you're right. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Um, So the last step is、um, baking the oven on the middle rack. Oh. Wait, it is on the middle rack. That's fine. For about 20 to 22 minutes. They should have a nice yellow golden color to them. You can let them cool or try them hot. Additionally, you can create a syrup by combining honey with a little water and apply a light coat over the top to give some shine and sweetness. I personally don't really like, um. I personally don't really like, like, super sweet bread, so I'm gonna leave the honey step out. If you guys wanna do the honey step, you can. Um, so it's about 20 minutes, okay? So I put it in, like, five minutes ago, so let's wait. 15 ish more minutes. You know what? I'm just gonna check it up,、uh, check up on it 15 minutes later and then. If it looks like it's ready, I'll just take it out. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like it looks pretty good, no? Like. Yeah. Cake flour is a bit sweet though. Yeah, that's also why I didn't want to put honey on top too. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I have to like. I think I. Hold on. Let me check if it's 375 Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah, so it's on. 375 Fahrenheit. I already went back to check on it, and the bread is already rising, so I'm kind of excited for it. Hopefully, it looks good. I don't think it's gonna look as good as in the picture that in the recipe book, but um, hold on, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the beautiful picture. My desk is a fucking mess. Okay, so this is what it looks like. In the photo of the cookbook. Really beautiful. Again, thank you so much for the lovely recipe. It was so fun to make, except for the ri rising bread part. That part just took 500 years off my life. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I was about to eat the sausages, but then I wanted to like put it all in the bread. So this is what the recipe looks like. Like, the, this is one of my a l o e peeps. Made this and oh my god, the bread looks. It's probably not gonna look as good as that. But, um, hopefully. Yeah, I know, it's so good! They did an amazing job. Hopefully, like, it looks like sort of something like this. Let me, like, expand it. Sure.、And、this little cute aloe peep and Anna in an apron. Oh, I got it, yo! It's so good. Oh my god, like, I don't know how they wrapped the bread around the wiener, but I did not do it correctly. Because they look like. Well, they look like they are a professional baker, and I look like I, like, lost all the opportunities in my life. Which is true. Okay. Let's continue. Let's finish out the super chats while we're waiting. If you guys can just, like, help me with the timer. Because Loki, I already forgot, like, when I put them in. Um, you know how I do things, especially with cooking, is if I'm、um, approximately. So, yeah. I mean, I did measure stuff, but. Yeah, I kind of eyeballed a lot of it, so. I'm trying to prove a point, you know? You can eyeball with baking. You can.
Yours is the family dinner version? <laughs> what does that mean? These are called pigs in blankets in the UK. Yeah, I heard. That's so cute. But I think, like, you know, vegans would not be happy about that. Or vegetarians. Okay, let's continue. Um... Mega Nay for eyes, family. Thank you so much for the soup. But Nina once said, men are easy. Yep, just give them tea. Nina said that? Well, that's because Nina is like a natural rizzer, okay? She like is very attractive, personality-wise. Looks wise. Just a lovely, beautiful voice. So, of course, like, it's easy to her. Okay? So, mom, um, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Kyle Testa, thank you so much for the soup. I love your cooking streams and your stories are hilarious. Hope we aloe peeps can take a peek at your tea collection one day. 42 out of 10 isn't bad either. I actually did show my tea on stream. That was before we had a bunch of rules implemented, so I don't think I can really do that anymore because, you know, brands and stuff. But yeah, um, I did do that, like, a year ago on stream, and I had a lot of tea. And a lot of those teas I still have, guys, so it's not really, like, that much different. Um, Ryan, thank you so much for the soup, but at least you're not washing rice with soap. You know what? You're totally right. I can never be as low as that, so yeah. Thank you. NPC, thank you so much for the soup, but at least now we know what not to do if Enna is a is a dating sim heroine. Okay. I admit I could have done certain things better, but I feel like I got away with it because I feel like at the end of the day, as long as I'm safe and the other person is, you know, understanding, it's a good day. It's a good day. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, Alphonse Armstrong, thank you so much for the soup. But as an educated baker, it's hilarious to see this and hear you ask exactly what I'd expect someone to ask when trying to make anything dough related. What? Like, how long does it need to rise and stuff? Yo! Um, as a professional baker, I would like you to please judge my sausage buns when they're finished out of the oven. Okay? So... But you know what, chat? I like I watch a lot of cooking tutorials and making bread is actually really hard. It takes a lot of time. So like if we can make like bread that tastes good. Honestly, I'm set for life. I can make rice already. But if you can make rice and bread, you can do anything. I could be like a lawyer, a doctor, a firefighter. I could do anything in my life at that point, you know? Yeah. The carbs queen. Yeah, bread is one of the hardest things to make. Exactly. I mean, I know I use cake flour, but... Old. Okay. Uh, Nicola, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, Anna, will you open up a tea shop someday? Honestly, I would love to do that. I know I sound like the type of person who would never open up like a bakery or a tea shop because, you know, people who open up those shops are usually pretty calm or like focused, you know, like, hello, welcome. Um, and I know like when people come into my store and be like, yo, take off your shoes, you know, like I get it. But um, hopefully when I get older, I'll like be more chill and loving and healthier spiritually. And so, yeah. But yeah, I would actually love to, like, open up a tea shop. Maybe with... Maybe if I'm... if Maybe if I master the sausage buns, I can just open up a tea shop and just make sausage buns. You know, I don't have to learn anything else. Like, I'll just be known for making sausage buns. Like, like, kids... Kids around the area will be like, Hey, did you go to Auntie Alouette's sausage bun bakery? It's the best sausage bun ever. It's like, yeah! I hope they never raise up the price. And I'm gonna raise up the price and then they're gonna have like then they're gonna have to like, like work extra to like buy them and be like, oh my god, like there's no sausage buns that are like match these sausage buns, so so I'm just gonna like save up and buy as much sausage buns as I can before she raises them again. I'm gonna raise it just a little bit every six months. It's like the fucking transit system here. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good tactic, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're messed up. Yo, guys, what, I, what did I tell you? It's not me, it's the economy, okay? 
Just saying. Angle Farmer, thank you so much for the super. Muna no yo ye pong. Michio? I don't know what that means. Replay, replay, replay. Thank you for the shiny Nuna song. I love that song. Uh, Dips, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, any tea recommendation for a fellow Alu peep? Yeah, so like because summer is here, I feel like green tea is usually good. Like white tea is good too. Um, for the winter time, I usually go for like black or red tea. Like more stronger teas in the winter time because like red and black tea, red or black tea, is like keeps you warm. You know, like red wine, it's the same thing. So yeah. But, you know, my recommendation for the month is oolong because this month, I don't know why, I just feel like my oolong tea tastes so good. Even though I've had it, like, before. I just think it just tastes so good, so... That's why I didn't give the guy oolong tea, because low-key, I still am kind of stingy. So I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna give you green tea. Yeah, the oolong tea, I'm, I'm, I'm saving that for myself. Uh, Brownie Stinson, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, and I read the recipe all the way through. You have to let it rise again after slicing the dough. Well, Brownie, it's a little too late. Also, why did you put my hair on a on a pony? Anyways, it worked out in the end, and we waited it. We waited for it to rise like three times, so it better be fucking fluffy. Uh, Max Maxwell, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, great stream, and then don't worry, I told girls even worse lies. Thanks for making me feel better. Bye. Um, outing yourself as a terrible person as well. I appreciate that. DW, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, early 600k celebration. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I don't think we're gonna reach it like this stream. Um, so... Maybe... I'll, I'll try to plan something. After the convention that I'm gonna go to. The anime UK con one. Um, when I'm back, I will... I will plan something for it. I don't know what, but I will think of something. Um, Tiamat, thank you so much for the super. Hugging the dough is so cute. I'll definitely watch the whole video when I get back later. And I'm still waiting for the birthday two-year anniversary merch to arrive. <laughs> In short, you're the best and love you. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for dropping by even though you're busy. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Oh my god, I get so awkward when people like... Common compliment me. What's wrong with me? Bro, I really need to go to this. I really need to go to therapy. Um, this isn't even a joke anymore. <laughs> like I used I used to kinda like joke about it. I'm like, <laughs> I need therapy. Now I'm like, oh shit, fuck, I really need to see a doctor <laughs> for my mental health. What's happening to me? Um William, thank you so much for the super. Outlast was awesome. Thanks, Anna. I had a lot of fun with Outlast Trials with um Etheria and Niji UK. I low-key want to continue playing it, but it's only fun because you're with people. Otherwise, like, by yourself, it would be so... ...scary and... Yeah, speaking of scary, tomorrow I'm gonna be playing... ...Amanda the Adventure, and I know it's a horror game... ...but because I've played Outlast Trials, I feel like I can handle it. So, yeah, I hope, I hope... Might have to cut it into two streams, though. It's pretty long. Um, Raven Yang, thank you so much for the soup, but you did great. Wait until the dough doubles in size or poke it with the finger if dough won't spring back. It's done. Maybe play some other games, then come back later to see the fermentation status. Well... I... Feel... I don't... Um, fuck. I wish I read all of these while the dough was rising. Um, I feel like the dough's fine, guys. I, I trust in the process. It looks pretty good, and... Yeah. Let's just pray, okay? If you don't think if you don't have confidence, just pray. That's what I do. Please, thank you. Uh Notorious, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, I always pick up some sausage buns from the Asian supermarket. They're so good. Hope yours turns out great. And also I received your birthday merch set. Yay! Thank you so much for the support. Please take pictures if you received the merch so I can see them. You know. I haven't gotten it, so I'd like to see you guys have it. <laughs> um, yeah, I always buy those sausage buns from the Asian grocery markets or bakeries as well. So I have high expectations. I don't think mines are gonna taste as good, but yeah, yeah. Small fox, thank you so much for the soup, but we know you're not always cool. 
but you're still very lovable. Okay, guys. What is this attack? Did I ever say I wasn't uncool? <laughs> A love attack? You asked to be humbled, so... You know what? You're right. I'm gonna take this one, but, um... As long as my parents think I'm cool, I feel like I'm fine, okay? Thanks, guys. Jade Mako, thank you so much for the super. Hi, Anna. I'll be going to South Korea soon with some friends. What is your favorite Korean dish that I definitely should try? Love all your streams, and I hope the bread turns out well. Ooh. I love Korean food so much. I don't know. I have so many. I like jajamian. I like um, Korean barbecue is really good. I love um, kimchi jjigae. I like bibimbap. I feel like you should all you should try like all the staples in South Korea when you go because it's even better there, obviously. So you definitely should try like everything that's a staple, like everything that like Korean. Um, food is known for You should try In South Korea Because it would be much better I went to South Korea once It was so good and the food is so cheap Like oh my god it's super good And it's super cheap Like my god How? Um, thank you so much uh, Sasuke thank you so much for the soup up <laughs> I think this is not a really good supa because like this is like a hate supa. So I feel like I shouldn't read it out loud. But I appreciate your opinion upon me, um, Sasuke Uchiha. You know, I'm a big fan, so unfortunately I you know, unfortunately my my one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite animes as a kid um does not appreciate, you know, me, which is totally fine. And honestly, like, yeah, it's okay. I feel like everyone is entitled to their own opinion. And... I don't really feel upset by it or anything. But I'm probably not gonna read this out loud because I don't want the chat to be start freaking out and be like, Oh my god, how can you say that? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, but... I... The only thing that I want... For today, out of my day, is for this bread to taste good. And that's the only thing on my mind. And if that could help bring a different perspective then that's a win-win yeah check the oven 20 minutes is up oh shit okay wait really that was 20 minutes okay one second i'll go check Okay, chat. It looks pretty good. I'll be honest, I thought the bread would rise more. But I'm waiting for it to cool off. It's really hot. No alarms? Guys, come on. I know how to use an oven, okay? Welcome okay, in, thank you so much for the five gifted. No, it's not burnt. The actually the golden egg wash worked out really well. The bread itself? Okay, I'm gonna have to taste it, but it's kind of hot right now, so I'm waiting for it to cool down. I'm gonna bring it over later. It's just really hot. Like, I almost burned myself. 
But like the bread, I, you know how like in the bakeries the bread is usually like really round and like really big. This one is like a, it's like it's not really thick, you know. It's like it's like a small booty. Like it's still fluffy looking, but it's like it's very like wrapped. In, I feel like maybe it's because I didn't use that much dough on each wiener. That could be it. Cause I was, I felt like maybe the wiener. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It has... It needs to rise more? You didn't rest enough? Are you kidding me? Are you... Really? We didn't rest the bread enough? Are you kidding me? <clears throat> the yeast failed? I don't think it failed. It did rise. Either way, the flour choice was the main issue. Okay, guys, stop attacking my sausage buns, okay? In the end, if it tastes good, then it tastes good. And low-key, it smells really good, and it looks good, and I think it probably will taste pretty good, too. So... Okay, maybe it's cooled down by now. I'm gonna bring it over. It's just the tray is super hot. Like, really hot. Okay, guys. One second. Look at you guys, fucking doubting me from the beginning to the end. I love how like every time, you know, things work out, there's always that one alu peep that will be like, I never doubted you, Anna. Like, fuck you. <laughs> stop lying to yourself and stop lying to me. Okay, you guys ready to see the results? Okay. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I'm excited to show y'all. Okay, let me let me move some stuff. Okay. Oh, oh shit, it's so fucking hot. Okay. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Da -da! Oh, sorry. Yeah, da The lighting makes it look like... Okay, the lighting... Okay, it doesn't do much justice. Hold on, let me put it... This is what it looks like. It looks pretty good, no? It didn't rise enough? Yeah, but it looks good still. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look as pretty as the one in the recipe book. But I feel like... I feel like... Okay, should I try it? Oh, shit, that's hot. Come on. It doesn't look bad, okay? It really... It looks edible. Okay, let's try it. Fuck, do we really have to make the bread rise that much? Here we go, guys. This is done, right? This is done. Okay. It's pretty good! Wait, is the inside of the dough, like, cooked? Oh, it is. It's just moist. Wait, this is good, chat. Okay. Chat, this is actually really good. Okay, I'm gonna eat it with the sausage. But the sausage is so fucking hot. I'm trying to think. Wait, chat, this is actually really good. Okay, I have to admit, it's not as fluffy as I want to want it to be, but the bread itself tastes good. Okay. Um, hold on, I'm gonna bite into the sausage with the bread. It's just, it's really hot, so I hope I don't burn myself. Okay, chat. Oh shit, that's hot. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, chat, this is actually so good. Okay, we did it. Yo, fuck all of you. I know it's not as pretty looking and fluffy or thick, but fuck that, okay? I love skinny bitches. Um, here we go. This is really fucking good. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I like it. Is it flaky? No, not really. You see... You know something is good when you eat it and you stop talking. This is what it looks like. It's good, chat! Like, it does taste like bread. Oh my god. It's really good when it's, like, warm. Okay, next time I understand... Oh my god, the sausage is so hot. I'm dying. So now, Anna Alouette understands the importance... ...of bread rising. And perhaps using the right flour. But for someone who didn't use the right flour and who was kind of impatient, like this turned out pretty good. Oh, this is actually really good. <clears throat> and okay, look, if you think about it, yeast isn't good for you. Less yeast is good. I mean, less is healthy for you, you know? I can't tell if I'm just I'm also just really hungry, but like it actually does taste good. Like if it didn't taste good, I wouldn't actually eat it. Sorry guys, everything else has to pause now because Yeah. Also because of the butter, um it gives like moisture to the bread. So it has like kinda like that buttery taste, which is really good as well with the with the sausages. And I was kind of afraid that because I used cake flour and I added sugar, like, it was gonna be too sweet. But it's not sweet at all. It's very nice. That's good. Damn. Oh, shit. I gotta take a picture. I, I shouldn't eat it. Okay, hold on. Let me finish this one. I'll take a picture of the rest of them. Okay, crap. This is just miserable. This is not fine. I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna Okay, I took a picture of it, and I swallowed. Okay, guys. I think this was, like, you know, for my first time, it was pretty successful. Let me put the rest on top, like, in the oven so it keeps warm. In the residual heat, so I'll be back. It's still hot. Okay, I'll be back.
Okay, chat. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna be graduating tomorrow. Open my own bakery. Okay, bye, guys. I love being here, but you know what? Fuck the internet. Internet hates me. I hate the internet. It's a fucking mutual thing, okay? So, um, yeah. If I leave and you see a bakery open up in your area, it's probably me. Um, if you, especially if you see like a bird logo somewhere, yeah. All right, guys, thank you. <laughs> see you at my new bakery, okay? I only sell sausage buns, okay? And um, just letting you guys know, I'll be raising the price every six months, just like the transits in our society. So yeah, don't be surprised. Okay, but seriously though, the fucking it was so good. I know you guys can never try it. But let me just tell you guys, it was good. I would not lie about food. If it actually tasted bad, I would tell you guys. But it's actually pretty good. And I also burnt myself putting the... The fucking... Buns back into the oven. In the residual heat. Because I forgot that the oven is still fucking hot. So, yeah. But it's okay. It's a scar that reminds me that like I debuted as a... Uh, a baker. So, yeah. Actually though... Usually... The things that we make on hand cam streams are like sweet. But this is one of the only things that we're baking that's like savory. And I love savory food. So it actually tastes so good. I'm not, like, I was even thinking, I was like, should I even give it to my friends? <laughs> like, should I just eat it all by myself? I mean, like, it's free food. Like, I made this. So, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I could try making it again. I just actually let the bread rest. Because then I can, like, play Necro Dancer or something. But because this was, like, on stream, I was kind of impatient. So, yeah. Maybe save them, like, one. Yeah, there's only six and I ate one and there's five left, right? So like... I mean, how much do I even like my friends? Let me think. Hmm... I want to eat another one. That'd be four. Like, maybe I could give like one to... But like, what if I want to eat another one at night? You know what? I'll just save one. <laughs> For like... I feel like this is the sort of thing that you have to eat immediately when it's done and you can't really like leave it for like the evening. I don't know. I think I just want to eat it all. Anyways, I'll think about it if I'm... If, uh... We'll see how much I love other people. Okay. Think of Etheria. Okay, by the time this reaches Reimu, it's gonna be moldy. So, I'll just eat Reimu's portion, okay? I like how I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna give... Like, in my head, I low-key doubted myself. Like, this is probably gonna taste bad because of the bread. And I was already preparing to, like, you know, give it to my friends because <laughs> that's how you get rid of food. Uh, but now it tasted really good. So I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't... Sorry, guys. It turned out really bad. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna eat it by myself. Yeah, that's me. Eat those. Make new ones for your friends. Guys. I don't have enough time in my day to do that. Come on. Actually, I might even consider making it again. That was so good. Uh, yeah, but anyway, shout out to Blue Icy07 for the wonderful recipe. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I didn't like follow it like completely. Um, you know, I used cake flour, but it worked out in the end, and I couldn't have done it without your wonderful recipe and your exemplar. Um, and if you guys are interested in the recipe, I already linked the Alu Peep website on in the chat pinned. So just make sure you go to like the cookbook project. So yeah. Okay, let's continue super chats because I have to go soon. Okay, H, thank you so much for the super. 42 out of 10 dough. Let's go. And 42 out of 10 Riz, Baker Bird. Thank you, H. Thank you, thank you. Uh Nicola, thank you so much for the AFK tax. Oh my god, what did you guys do? Like why are there so many flush supas? Okay, Pinkerton, Tian Tang Yao. Um, uh, Udo Mian. Thank you guys so much for the flesh soup, and Nicola. Thank you so much for the flesh soup as well. One, two. This is like a flesh spam soup. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, you know what? At this point, Nicola, thank you so much again for the Aka flesh soup. Um, thank you for making sure that I make a scent each key drop. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Sly Saber, Zipli, Garfield and Friends, Kong Coffee, thank you guys for the flesh dupas as well. Uh, Blue Destiny, thank you so much for the soup. I hope you're having a great time and uh, those look yummy. They are yummy! I wish you guys could try some. Oh wait, I forgot to update the photos. Hold on, let me send the photos to myself. To our friends, come on. Let's ignore this. 
this, okay? Ignore these. I have to rotate it too? Oh my god, come on, iPhone. I have to admit, I'm really bad at photo taking. Okay, low key, I just wanted to put it back in the oven because I didn't want them to get cold so that I could eat them after the stream. <laughs> that's why I was rushing to take the photos. So if the photo doesn't look that good, it's because that that's why. That's why. That's why, okay. Okay, I'm gonna send it to myself or actually just like drop it in someone's DM. Oh fuck, now I have to like clean up my desk. Maybe I'll have another one and then I'll clean up. Patience is virtue, Anna. Yeah, I burnt myself. Ooh, oh my god, the photo is so bad. But it tastes good and that's all that matters. Okay, chat, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna name this Anna's Bakery. Yeah, I told you guys I have bread. Fuck all of y'all. Oh shit, that's too zoomed in. Hold on. Hold on. It just looks like something weird. Okay. Alright, so this is what it looks like. I know, I know, it's not the best photo, okay? <laughs> I was rushing to take it because I was hungry. <laughs> I feel like it was a success. You know what I'm actually like impressed about? I'm pretty impressed that like the egg wash turned out pretty good. I didn't think simply by just like putting egg wash on something, it would actually turn out to be that color. You know, I thought you had to like put it on a certain way. I literally just used a spoon, I splashed it on and it still looked pretty good. And the sesame seeds made it look really like... The, the way that I put on the sesame seeds because I was rushing because the yolk was all over the cutting board. It looks like the bread has disease, but you know what? It's not disease, it's sesame seeds, and it tastes so good. And I'm kind of proud of us. So yeah, thank you guys for helping today. Even though all you guys did was like meddle with the recipe, but you know, it's okay. I don't know why I still listen to chat. But, yeah, it's okay. We did. Anyways, adapt, imp improvise, adapt, and overcome. And that's exactly what we did, and it tasted really good. Uh, Blue Destiny, thank you again for the soup. Uh... Welcome, Nahil. Thank you so much for the super. Would you rather have the ability to fly or the ability to destroy birds with your mind? The second one. First of all, I can't fly because it's too high and then I get motion sickness. And second of all, I hate birds with a dying passion. So it's perfect. This, this is a no-brainer. D. Carter, thank you so much for the super. For real, sometimes you need to fail first to learn how to succeed. Except in this case, it's I succeed and then I succeed even more. So, yeah! <laughs> Including social skills. Oh, you're talking about my- Oh. You're talking about my social skills. Okay, I thought you were talking about the bread. Speaking from experience. Yeah, you know... Okay, well... I... Have failed many times socially. So it's not like this is my first time failing. And I'm just waiting until the day that I succeed. So, thank you, Carter. Um, I thought you were talking about my bread, but... Okay. Thanks. Thanks for humbling me. Um, this is why we have to humble you. Your ego gets a bit big. I just want to say that I feel like I'm pretty humble by default, okay? On a daily basis, I put myself down. To the point where it doesn't even, like, it doesn't even match the definition of humble anymore. It just matches the definition of depression and self-deprecation. So, so let me have this, okay, chat? Let me have this. Lily B. Weez, thank you so much for the super. Next time, just say you only like girls. Easy out. Honestly, I thought about that, but... <laughs> like, okay. I don't want to say... I just don't want to do that, you know? I don't know. I feel like it's morally not right to say that, you know? In that, because it's not like... I mean, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Happy Pride Month! I don't know, guys. Um, I don't know, he was so genuine, so... The only reason why I lied about, like, moving... Was because... At that point, he had mentioned that he lived really close to me. And I was just worried that he might, like, hang around, you know? Or be persistent. And, and in the end, he was a little bit persistent, so I'm kind of glad that I said that. 
But like, in terms of like... Other things, I didn't really lie about that. The only time I really think it's okay to kind of like stretch the truth a bit... Is, you know, for safety purposes. I just didn't want this dude to think... That I was gonna be here for a long time. And then he would find that opportunity... And intent to like... You know... Stay in contact and kind of hang around the area. I don't know, it's just like, um... I also just don't want to, like, go outside. <laughs> so... Yeah. Um, but like, you know, for other things, like, I did... I even thought about it. I was like, oh my god, I should just say that I already have, like, some... I should just be like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. Yeah, I thought about saying all of that. But because, like... But, like, you know... But, you know, me saying those things... It's just because, like, I wasn't interested, so I thought, like, in that sense, I should at least, like, t just tell the truth, you know? But, like, in the sense of, like, oh, if he's gonna, like... If he's telling me that he's, like, near me... Um, then I'm gonna, like, try to make it sound like I'm not near you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So... Sorry, I'm married, I know. I should've said that, too. I should be like, actually, I'm getting engaged next week. Uh, I know I don't have a ring yet. My husband's poor, uh, but you know we're poor and happy, poor and kind. You know, my thesis it go all go all goes back to my point: being kind and poor. Um, Miss, oh, Miss Daisy, Miss Taize, thank you so much for the super. Hook me up with some sub, with su some of that tea, and I, I got someone to charm. Okay, guys. Um. So if you want to buy my tea, it's at the same bakery as my sausage buns. Um, just a reminder, every half year I increase the price. So yeah, it doesn't come free. If you want like a reading and some blessings, I like, charge for that too. So yeah, just letting you guys know. It's available. Uh, Nicola, Zipli, thank you guys for, so much for this flesh soup. Thank you again for the Aka flesh soup. Nicola, thank you, thank you. That's some crazy inflation. <laughs> Joel, thank you so much for the super! Thank you, thank you! Martin D, thank you so much for the AFK face! Thank you, thank you! Oh my god, that AFK face actually looks like my AFK face. Like the smiley emote. Uh, Zipli, thank you again for the first super! And Nicola, thank you again for the first supers! Robo, thank you so much for the super! Hi, and I started to watch your clips yesterday and already became a fan of you. Don't give too much attention to the haters. Honestly, I have to say... That like, I know my biggest flaw is giving attention to the wrong people. Purely because I think, personally, it's kind of fun. There is something wrong with me. This is like the equivalent of like, psychopaths thinking that like, stabbing an animal is fun. On a lesser scale. On a way lesser scale. Okay, I'm not a psychopath, okay? I'm just saying something that people usually don't do. I do because I think it's funny to poke fun at myself and them and, you know, just laugh it off. Weird comparison, but I'm just saying, like, it's like, you know... So I have a problem too. I can't really, like, be like, oh my god, fuck you, you know? I have the problem. And I know that. <laughs> but even though I have the problem, I still know that I can make some really fucking good sausage bread. So it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Like, whether you love me or hate me, um, thank you for the super chats, regardless, and thank you for blessing me with this wonderful lunch that I'm about to have. So, like, honestly, I won't really have a change in attitude because I'm happy. <laughs> like, really, I won't, I probably won't change too much. I mean, I'll try to change for the better, but, yeah. I mean, I'm already making sausage, but like, how much better can I get, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta like chill with the with the ego of it. Oh my god, this sausage bread is so good. Anna is a point and laugh type of person. Okay, look, if you have enough depression in your life, everything starts becoming funny. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? If you have enough depression in your life, you look at things a lot differently than if you didn't. I, this is not like me joking. This is like me actually telling you guys, like you just see things differently. And, yeah. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, ba, 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 ha, uh, oh. 
HCP Iris, thank you so much for the soup, but the buns actually look so appetizing. Good job, Anna. By the way, my granny used to buy me sausage buns for preschool tea time. They remind me of my childhood. I know, especially these ones, because this is kind of like supposed to be like the Asian sausage bun style. So I used to, I mean, I, I still eat them. Actually, just the other day, I bought sausage buns from my bakery. Um, were they better? I mean, they tasted fluffier, but actually, honestly, this is pretty much on par. I really like the taste of it. The only thing it's really missing is the fluffy part, but I don't really mind it because the taste is still there. So, yeah, it's, it's probably like this recipe, I think, like probably is ingrained in a lot of our childhoods. Because it's pretty like well known everywhere. Uh, Zippy, thank you again for the super. WK, thank you so much for the super. Hi, Anna. Thank you for trying out my recipe. Oh my god, it's. It's your recipe! I'm so glad I was able to catch the stream today. Really happy that it turned out well and that you like it. Thank you so much for the recipe! And again, thank you, Alupis, for making the cookbook and for... for as my, um... birthday present this year. It was really, really lovely and I do plan on, like, making more from the cookbook. And I love that you guys did that because I love making food. Especially when they come out really good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you so much! I hope you think that my, uh, sausage buns are good. I know they're not as beautiful as yours, but, um, I feel like, you know, I feel like my iPhone 14 captured, like, some kind of, like, brightness of the shine of the bread. You know, like, over here, like, the middle one right there with the shine, yeah? That looks okay. Yeah. Thank you so much! Chip Chip 0205 Thank you so much for the soup, but thank you for the stream. The bread looks great. I will definitely try the recipe someday. Yeah, please try out the recipe, guys. It's pretty easy. Like, if I can do it, you guys can do it probably even better. And then if you do make it, please tag Bo and Appetit on Twitter. Uh, Nicola, thank you so much for the soup. Uh, much love to you, Anna. The buns look amazing. You did awesome. Enjoy the flask supas and much love my Kami Oshi. Thank you for always telling me that I'm your Kami Oshi every stream. I appreciate it. And if one day you stop, I'm gonna remember you forever and be like, Oh shit, how, where did I mess up? <laughs> Thank you so much! Okay, I'm gonna read the stream maps. Okay. Miguel, thank you so much for the dono! Hey, Anna, there's an Alu Peep named Charles. You may know her. She makes beautiful covers. She works very hard and has a gorgeous voice. She's going through some things lately. Can you give her some words of encouragement, please? I'm sure she'll love it. Oh my god, of course! Charles, wake up! Listen to me, okay? Listen to me very closely. Listen. Are you listening? Okay. Life sucks! Okay? They tell you... That all-purpose flour and cake flour are pretty much the same thing. And you go through three hours of making it. And you and it turns out that, like, your first mistake is listening to Google. The only thing in this world that gives you access to tons of information. But because of that, you don't know whether it's true or not. Okay? So my point is... Life sucks! You think you didn't mess up, but then you get to the end and then you realize you already messed up in the beginning. Okay? But even then, even though we use cake flour instead of all-purpose flour, the bread still tastes good. So this is my piece of advice. Things might suck during the process. You might doubt yourself. Other people might doubt you. Probably everybody in your life will doubt you because, you know, people just don't love each other. But in the end, it will work out somehow. I don't know why, but it always tends to be like that. Okay? You mess up from the start, the beginning, or the end, it doesn't really matter. Towards the very end of everything, it somehow always goes back into place, and it's always okay. And as long as you know that, as long as you know everything is gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay. And I believe in you. Especially because you're a wonderful singer. Probably heard, like, one or two from Twitter, I think. So yeah! I'm not good with encouragement because I don't know how to do that to myself. But I do think that, um, you know, if you guys have the heart to even, like, you know... To, to ask for words of encouragement for, like, a friend or, like, another other peep in the community. I think you guys are pretty good people, so... 
I feel like if you have pretty good morals and judgment, you guys will do fine, okay? No matter where you are, here, there, somewhere else, I believe you guys will be just okay. So even though you might be stressed or sad during this time period, I promise eventually it will smooth out. And then I'll probably go back into the sad and depressing stuff, but that's kind of just life, you know? I just know that like... Nothing is ever really super duper bad, and nothing's ever super duper good, but knowing that, there should be some sort of like relief. Am I doing this okay? Like, do you guys feel better or do you feel worse? <laughs> and also, like, you know, um, I stream almost every day acting like a fool, so if it makes me feel better, laugh at me. I don't mind. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I think I think in the end we'll be okay. I promise. I have a good feeling. Just like how I had the feel for this bread. Like this fucking tastes amazing. Like I didn't even believe in myself. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I hope you feel better soon, Charles. I'm I'm with you. In spirit. And if I could, I could give you one of my bread. Maybe like half. Which is a lot already, because I was already going to not give it to my friends, so... <laughs> okay, and Miguel, thank you so much for the wonderful dono. Thank you for looking out for your friends. Uh, Boytan, thank you so much for the soup, but it's fun to spin a sausage bun if the way is hazy. <gasps> it's fun to spin a sausage if the way is hazy. You gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. Never use a messy recipe. Or your buns will be crazy if you do the cooking by the book. Then you'll have a funny mini bun. I can't really remember the song exactly, but I love Lazy Town. Yeah. I knew immediately as soon as you said if the way is hazy. That's how you know I watched too much TV as a kid. Um, Peck Sean, thank you so much for the uh, for the donut. Don't worry, I know you showed your tea stuff and made tea for your 100k stream. So we can just rewatch that. Although showing it again would be nice. Have you tried Gokuro before? It's Sencha grown under the shade rather than under the sun. I have! Yeah, it's really good. Honestly, I like any type of tea that's like grown naturally and loose leaf. I don't really like like fruit teas because I don't really like the sweetness of it. Um, I've had so much tea in my life that like I have to stop drinking it so much because like... If I drink too much tea, I get so hungry and sometimes I drink it on an empty stomach and then my stomach hurts because it's just like digesting with nothing in it. So sometimes I actually have to like remind myself not to drink tea. Um, and drink it like after I've eaten something. Yeah. Uh, Tata, thank you so much for this dude. I bless you so many times but never thought you'd meet a guy so soon. <laughs> Maybe date me. LOL, just kidding. I guess you'll find a boyfriend soon then, in a safe way. <laughs> What's that mean? And I went to watch Spider-Verse right before your stream. It's so good. I know, I hope, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. And yeah, guys, I can't believe you guys are blessing me and it's actually Loki kind of working. Like, hello, peace, come on, keep going, guys. Like, okay, next time, like, maybe not have it happen in my house because that's kind of, like, scary. But like, oh my god, guys. <laughs> I owe you guys one. Woman, <laughs> We have a Spider-Man leader in our community. Who is it? <gasps> Wait, who? Are you talking about me? I don't know. I don't think I can be Spider-Man. But if I could be Spider-Man, I would probably not be as nauseous in game. I don't think I read that Chinese message very well. I literally was like... I was reading the pinyin, like, slopping, sloppy. So, you guys probably have no idea what I said. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Nicola, thank you again for the super. Thank you, thank you! Shady Noctis, thank you so much for the super. 99 problems but a sausage bun ain't one. True. Strange for Taco, thank you so much for the soup. I'm sorry about misspelling chap japchae. I went to a Korea. Ugh. I went to a Korean restaurant for the first time just to have japchae. It was amazing. Thanks for the food wreck. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I love japchae. I'm looking kind of want to eat it now. And I have to kind of go like now because I I have like I have a lunch with a friend, so. Yeah, I gotta like wrap up those sausage buns and probably give them one because I'm. 
You know, I feel like I... Well, you know, if they happen to watch this stream and they find out that I don't give them one, they're gonna be like, bro. <laughs> so... Yeah, don't worry. I'll give one to you, okay? I promise. <laughs> if they're watching, I'll ask. I'll be like, hey, did you happen to watch my stream this morning? Uh, if they didn't, then I might just, like, eat it. Okay, anyways. Uh, Sasuke Uchiha, thank you so much for the super. Oh my, it's another Sasuke. Why are we so, so many Sasuke's in the chat today? What's happening? Hi, Anna. Your buns are looking good. Thanks, guy. I'm depressed too, but it's okay. I do feel better. I'm glad. At the end of the day, I'm really happy when we have just like a moment in our day where we can laugh and just like joke about how the world sucks. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Maru Maru, thank you so much for the pink soup. I thank you, thank you. Thank you for the amazing Alu Ted talk. Oh, that's a good one. I feel better every time I tune into your stream. You truly brighten my days. Life sucks, but I still can watch Anna's stream and laugh at least. Thank you! That's really sweet. As, I mean, I don't like being cheesy because I feel like, honestly, we've been kind of like cheesy like almost every day. And I'm like, what's happening? It's too much. I mean, it's not like I don't like it. It's just like... I don't know what to say without making it sound repetitive. But just know I'm really happy and yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And if I can make your day a little bit happier, then I'm really happy about that. So, yeah. And I made my day happy too by making the best sausage buns of my life. <laughs> okay, chat. I'm gonna go eat some. I'm gonna clean up this mess, do my hair. <sighs> Should I even go out for lunch? I'm, I'm full. I'm gonna be full. Okay, chat. So tomorrow I'm gonna be playing Amanda the Adventure. Um, so that might not be as fun as today, but uh, we'll see. Not for me, at least. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to do that. Make sure you eat and sleep if you haven't. Have a great, lovely day and night. And yeah, I'm gonna go eat these sausage buns. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll do like a voice tweet while eating it. Yeah. Okay, chat. Thank you so much for joining today's stream. I had a lot of fun. The sausage buns were a success. And uh, yeah, why well, was so awkward? Like, I think it's because like we were getting too cheesy and I'm just like... Um, yeah, I gotta... I don't know. I, I gotta... I gotta make it less cheesy somehow. Well, yeah, thank you. I had a lot of fun, guys. Thank you, thank you for the help, and thank you for the recipe. Um, yeah. Okay, my bread is getting cold, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye, chat! Oswana! Bye-bye! Yum, 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 yum. This is, like, every time I transition, why does it, like, lag? Don't understand. Am I muted? Someone again. Seriously. 